be here with you guys tonight in the name of Jesus. Easter is here. We are celebrating nothing but that Messiah. We are celebrating nothing but our deliverance, reconciliation back to our maker and back to our father. Miss Royalty, God bless you as you're coming on. Latisha, I see you coming on. God bless you, man of God. Begin to power tap on your screen and press on the share button and let me know where you are watching from and where you are connecting from and if you're going to be watching the replay on YouTube, God bless you as you are joining in tonight in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, we exalt you and we honor your name. We bless your name and this place tonight. We magnify your name, great and mighty God. We give you all the praise and all the honor tonight in the name of Jesus. Victor, all the way from Zimbabwe, God bless you, my home country. I hope you are doing okay. South Africa is in the house. The United States is in the house. The chosen one, all the way from the United States, God bless you as you are coming on to Nice. Good afternoon, California is here. God bless you. Ghana, Jamaica, Kenya. God bless you as you're coming on tonight. Power tap on your screen. I see New Zealand. Chantel, all the way from Jamaica, is connected. I see Zambia as well tonight. Jamaica, Anna, God bless you as you are coming on. Mandorobo, Saya. Quickly power tap on your screen is here. I just want to catch up with everybody. I see Botswana, Cameroon, Dubai is coming on. USA, Swaziland is connected. Albania, God bless you. Zambia on YouTube. Michelle, God bless you. As you're coming on for text from Texas, God bless you. Man of God, Lisa, all the way from South Africa. Maslin, God bless you. Father, we exalt you. Mareka Bagondosa, Labrakadosa, Ikata Labayanda, Mazeka Balado. Sayandere de Bosaya Azuta Libra Kano Mahasa Yandere de Bosata. Come with somebody, power tap on your screen and press on the share button as you are coming on tonight in the name of Jesus. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we we'll rejoice and be glad in it. This is the hour that the Lord has made, and we we'll rejoice and be glad in it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Something just happened right now. Can you guys give me a minute? Can you guys just give me a minute? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Just give me a moment as we straighten up everything. Come, let me know if you can still see me. Something happened. My light just got, just broke off. My light just broke off, but we're still going to make sure that we release the word as well. Can you guys still see me? Thank you, Jesus. Malira Bahando. Zata la Bakado Salabrahasa. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Can you guys still see me? Maybe I need to adjust a little bit. Just confirm if you guys can see me. Clearly as well in the name of Jesus. Mare de Debo Saya. Power tap on your screen and share. Just give me the thumbs up if everything is okay as we move on. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry about that, that inconvenience. Thank you, Jesus. Just confirm if you can see me. Nothing is going to stop the release of the word tonight. In the name of Jesus. Masata Rabahasa. Yandere de Bosa. Yaraba Kadosa. Libra Kadosa. Yandere de Bahaso. Mazuka Labadosa. Father, we thank you. And we exalt your great and mighty God. There is no other master beside you. We have no other king beside you. We have no other Lord beside you. And Heavenly Father, I thank you for tonight. And I thank you for everybody that is connected right now I speak in the name of Jesus let there be divine visitation I speak in the name of Jesus that you move mightily tonight in the name of Jesus Labrador Basaya Mandoro Bobo Sata Libra Kadosa. I speak in the name of Jesus. As everybody is connecting right now, may you release your word and season in the name of Jesus. I'm asking that you move mightily in our lives. I'm asking that you move mightily in every situation now. In the name of Jesus, as you're under the sound of my voice, huh? let it be your declaration. I say, God, move in my situation tonight. Huh? You say, God, move in my condition tonight. Huh? In this week, Weekend. I'm believing you for resurrection in this weekend. I'm believing you for change in this weekend. I'm believing that you will change my life completely in the name of Jesus. 
Labracadosa. You say God move mightily tonight. Move mightily in my situation. Move mightily in my marriage. You say, God, over this weekend, I need an encounter in my life. You say, over this weekend, I need an encounter in my business. I need you to show up and fight my battles. We must speak it to tonight. You say, I need you to show up and change my story. I need you to show up and break chains in my life. Come with somebody, pull it up on your screen. I'm laughing because this is so funny that the light decided to just break. But I'm believing that you guys can see me. I'm just worried about your chip because it has a little bit of low light. But if you can see me, just give me the thumbs up as we continue as well. Thank you, Jesus. You see me. You say, God, just show up in my situation. Show up in my marriage. Show up and change things in my life. You say, God, show up and open doors in my life. You say, God, show up. And Father, as we pray tonight, I'm asking for your fire in this place. I'm asking in the name of Jesus that anybody believing you for an answer, you release an answer in the lives. Anybody believing you for open doors, you will open that door. Anybody believing you for restoration, Father, you restore anybody believing you for a miracle. You are releasing that miracle. Scatter the plans of the enemy and close up the ears of the enemy. As I pray in the name of Jesus, let your mighty hand be released upon our lives tonight. Let your mighty hand begin to touch every situation. Power tap on your screen is here. You know, as I came on preparing to release a word in this place, God began to minister to me and said, There's some of you under the sound of my voice. There's some things that have been happening in your life where it seems that God is not present. There's some battles that you've been fighting. There's some season that you've been going through. As you enter into the season, you feel like God has left you. As you enter into the season, there is nothing but pain. As you enter into the season, there is nothing but tears. We must speak it to tonight. Who says I'm in that season when my doors are closed. I am in that season when nothing is working. I am in the season where I cry but there is no answer. I am in the season where I pray on my knees but there is no change in my life. I'm looking for summer tonight who says I'm in that season. La Kubara Kabasota, Mandere de Bosata Yarabahasa. We must speak it to tonight, sir. Who says I'm in that season? Mandere de Bosata, I am in the wilderness season. I'm in the garden season. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Come with somebody power up on your skin and shield. And it's somebody that says, I am in the garden season. Because if you read in your scripture, according to the time of Easter that we are in, Jesus find himself in the book of Luke 22 verse number 42 Jesus find himself in the garden and Jesus knows that something is about to happen he knows that he was about to be betrayed he knows that he's getting closer to fulfilling his assignment but as he enter into that season as he enter into the garden to pray the pain is afflicted in the spirit and the man feels the pain and something happens in his mind when he gets on his knees he prays and say god take this cup away from me power tap on your skin is shame luke 22 verse number 42 now Jesus goes into the garden and the assignment is to go and pray but when he gets on his knees he cannot pray for nothing else but he's asking for God to take him out of the situation now we must speak it to tonight sir, who says I'm in the garden season now where I pray for God to remove the battle that I'm fighting now I'm in the garden season now where I pray but I still feel the pain now we must speak it to tonight 
Jesus uh, who says I pray uh, but I still see the battle uh, you say I pray uh, but Ananda because uh, but nothing is working in my life uh, we must speak it to tonight uh, who says I'm in the garden season under the Messiah and the Bible says uh, he enters into the garden with the disciples uh, and he leaves the disciples behind and he goes to a different place there's some of you under the sound of my voice the situation you're in right now does not allow you to be around friends the situation you are fighting right now does not allow you to have colleagues the situation you're dealing with it cannot allow you to be around some people in your life because there are some seasons where the multitudes must be present and there are some seasons where they are friends and colleagues and they are seasons where you got some cousins uh, but God says in the season now uh, I need you on your knees uh, where you can command the Messiah he says I need you on your knees uh, where I can speak in your life uh, he says I need you on your knees uh, where I can minister into your life he goes into the garden and he goes there with, with the disciples but there is a part he says in verse number one and Jesus withdrew he says and Jesus withdrew about a stone throw behind them and they knelt down and prayed we must speak it to tonight you may not understand why people have been rejecting you you may not understand why you are losing some friends you may not understand why some doors are closing but God said that this is a season a season of separation he said that this is a season a season of withdrawal he said that this is a season where he is pulling you apart Come on, somebody put what's up on your screen this year. I know there is somebody under the sound of my voice. Uh, you don't understand why, uh, but you find yourself all by your alone. Uh, you find yourself all by yourself. Uh, there's somebody watching me tonight. Uh, you find yourself withdrawing. Uh, the things you used to be in, to enjoy, uh, you don't enjoy the same anymore. We must speak it to tonight. Uh, the places you used to go, you don't go to the same places. Uh, the things you used to like and do, you don't like the things anymore I need you to understand tonight sir, that there is a purpose upon your life sir, that nobody understands there is a blessing upon your life sir, that nobody can understand why because you got to go through some battles a power tap on your screen and she it must speak in somebody watching me right now so God removes you from destruction uh, and, and God removes you from individuals that don't have the understanding uh, that you have to go through that season can I say that one more time that God removes you from, from some people in your life that do not understand that you have to go through that season God removes some people in your life that do not understand that you need to go pain and fasten God is removing you tonight from certain territories where you're surrounded by people that do not understand that this has to happen uh, it must speak in summer tonight sir, because the Bible says uh, when Jesus is speaking to Peter he says I would die but Peter looks at Jesus uh, and he says God forbid uh, that some of you under the sound of my voice uh, God is sending me to preach into your life uh, and just to know that things uh, have to happen in your life uh, in order for you to be glorified uh, can I say that one more time uh, God says it had to happen now uh, for you to be in that situation now he said you had to be rejected uh, and kicked out of the ministry uh, because there is glory uh, that was waiting on the other side uh, we must speak it to tonight uh, God says I need you to speak uh, and prophesy to somebody uh, and let somebody know tonight uh, that there is glory that is waiting 
and the Bible says it goes on and he prays a prayer and say God if you can take this cup away from me we must speak it to tonight sir. you're in a situation right now you say God if you can remove the burden upon my life can I speak to someone tonight sir, who say God if you can remove the separation you say God if you can bring me out of divorce God if you can wipe out Away my pass. He goes and he prays on his knees. And he says in 14 and 42, Father, if you are willing, take this cup away from me. But yet, the other translation says, Nevertheless, not my will, but your will. Did you hear that? He says, Nevertheless, not my will, but your will. I need you to understand that God said you have to go through that season. You have to go through the process and you have to go to, go to the tears. You have to go to the battle you're fighting. Why? Because there is glory that is waiting on the other side. We must speak it to tonight. He prays on his knees. And at the end of the prayer, something clicked inside of his head. And there is a reminder that he is reminded that you're not just fighting this battle, but there is glory. Glory that is waiting. We must speak it to tonight. Sir. I'm hearing God say tonight sir, that tell somebody that there is glory that is waiting on the other side. We must speak it to tonight. Sir. He said there is a blessing that is waiting. He said there is a miracle that is waiting tonight. Sir. Can I prophesy? And so under the sound of my voice, sir, I don't know the battles you're fighting. I don't know the tears you're crying. But God said there is glory that is waiting. Can you can I speak to somebody tonight? Sir? As he prays on his knees, Marika by I need you to understand uh, there are some things that God allows in your life. Uh, why? Because there is a blessing uh, He's preparing for you to release. Uh, we must speak it to tonight. Uh, there is somebody watching me right now. You have been rejected and divorced. Uh, but I need to remind you tonight uh, that God said there is glory uh, that is waiting to be released. Uh, and the Karabakos Sata cannot prophesy tonight, sir. In the name of Jesus, sir. He said, Go through the season because there is glory that God is prepared. He said, Go through the battles sir, because there is glory that God is prepared. I prophesy tonight, sir. In the name of Jesus, sir. May the glory of God be released upon your life, sir. As you're under the sound of my voice, sir. He said that your sin season of being in tears and your season of being broke and your season of failure and loss God says it ends we must speak it to tonight. Yeah, the baby called Sata. My other bad Kosa. Yeah, under the devil Sata. I don't know who it is. Under the sound of my voice, you are sick and tired of fighting the battle. You are sick and tired of those clothes. You are sick and tired of being in shame. I come to prophesy tonight that there is glory that is waiting to be released. Yeah, the baby so in that season it hurts we must speak it to tonight who says in the season right about now it hurts Ayabakusa, in the devil sata. We must speak it to tonight. Who says right now it hurts? You say right now I feel like I'm losing it. You say right now I cannot bear the pain. You say right now I cannot carry the cross. You say right now I feel like I'm losing the battle. We must speak it to tonight. And the Bible says, as they prayed and cried, there is an angel. So uh, that God released in his life. 
Come on, somebody. I'm looking for somebody watching me right now who says, I know it hurts, but I need to go through this battle. We must speak it to tonight. Who says, I know it hurts, but I'm still going to stand. I know it hurts, but I'm still going to worship. I know it hurts because I carry greatness. I know it hurts because there is a promise. I know it hurts because there is something that God is putting upon my life uh, we must speak it to tonight the boss said the disciples they could not stay and they slept why because the battle was not theirs but it was Jesus assignment the Holy Spirit ministered to me today and he said there are some of you watching me right now the reason why your vision and your dreams were cut short he said you began to look around and you began to compare yourselves with people that do not understand your journey and your assignment Karabahasa. Let, let me say this calmly he said that the reason why you gave up on your vision the reason why you're giving up on greatness the reason you are giving up on your assignment is because you're comparing yourselves to those that don't understand your journey and your assignment we must speak it to tonight there's some of you watching me right now you are stuck in a place you're looking at the bus says as he prayed and cried his the bus says he was sweating like blood but when he looks at the disciples the disciples were sleeping we must speak it to tonight the reason why you've been discouraged yeah, when you look around your friends yeah, they don't pray as much yeah, they don't fast as much yeah, they don't even worship as much yeah, they don't sacrifice as much yeah, and the disciples are sleeping I need you to understand that there is a level of pain there is a level of greatness that comes with a little bit of pain there is a level of elevation that comes with a little bit of training. There is a level of promotion that you have to go through some storms and you have to go through some battles in your life. It looks at the disciples and the disciples are sleeping. Yeah, they gotta sleep because they don't understand the battle that Jesus is fighting. We must speak it to tonight. I don't know if there is anybody under the sound of my voice. You feel like you're sleeping. Yes, you can sleep, but we're gonna stay and pray because we understand the journey that we're fighting. We must speak it to tonight. Who says, I understand the greatness ahead. You say, I understand. The promise ahead. I understand the glory that is ahead. Yes, you can sleep. Yes, you can surrender. But I'm going to stay because I can see that God is taking me somewhere. The power tap on your screen is here. I need somebody watching me right now who says, But how can I sleep in the season where, where there is a cross and there is a price? I need you to understand uh, that it's not just a cross, uh, but there is a cross and a price. Uh, in order to get to the price, uh, you gotta go through the cross. We must speak it to tonight. In the name of Josiah, he said there is a cross uh, and there is a price. Uh, in order to go to the price, uh, there is a cross uh, that you gotta go through tonight. We must speak it to right now. I know some of you watching me right now. You say, but, but you know, I'm saved. My love is supposed to be easy. Come on, you got to understand that there is a cross. You got to go through that season where the boss say, deny yourself. He say, deny yourself. Deny your desires. Deny your places. That is a cross that you need to carry. There's somebody watching me tonight. Others are marrying easily. But your cross that you're supposed to carry is to rise up and break the curse of anti marriage. We must speak it to tonight. 
I need somebody watching me right now who says I don't mind. Even though I have to pray, it doesn't matter. In the Kuda Bayata, I may have to worship longer than others. I may have to pray longer than others. I may have to fast. I may have to give more than others because I understand there is a price. He says, nevertheless, not your will, but my will. That's the part that I'm talking about tonight. Have you been in a place and a season where you deny yourself and say, God, nevertheless, in other words, he says, I don't mind, even though I have to carry the cross. We must speak it to tonight, who says, I don't mind. He said, nevertheless, Alebekadosa, he said, nevertheless, and then the Bokosaya, and the Kubara da Basaya, we must speak it to tonight. God says, I'm looking for somebody watching me tonight who says, I want to be rich, but nevertheless, let it be your will in the season. I want to get married, but nevertheless, he's in a place and a season. He say, Father, If you are willing, take this cup away from me. I will tap on your screen and shame. I'm speaking to some of you watching me right now. You don't even understand why God has you in that position. You're not fighting for yourself, but you are fighting for a whole generation. Are you hearing me? As he's right on his knees, God bless you, those who are listening to the gifts. There is a cross and it's closer to the cross. I need you to understand when it hurts the most, you need to know that you are close. Power tap on your screen and share. Can I say that one more time? I'm only seeing 200 shares and we got a thousand five people watching. I need you to understand that there is a place and a time when it hurts the most. God wants you to know that you are close. Are you hearing me? When it seems that the cup is heavy, and they are both sat up, when it seems that the assignment is great, when you feel like the yoke is greater, I need you to understand that you are close. We must speak it to tonight. And it's, it's right there in the garden, he's laying down on his knees. He feels the weight of the cup. The cross is close. So was the resurrection and so was the ascension. We must speak it to right now. Who says I can feel the weight downing down upon my hands. I can feel the weight of being in the marriage. I can feel the weight of being jobless and homeless. I can feel the weight of being rejected and broke. We must speak it to tonight. Who says I can feel the cup and it's heavy. I can feel the weight and it's heavy. They call Bahasa. Power tap on your skin is here. He says, God, if you can take this cup away from me, we must speak it to tonight. Sir. You are so close. Sir. That's why you feel tired. Sir. You are so close. Sir. That's why you're being discouraged. Sir. You are so close. Sir. That's why you're crying day and out. You are so close. Sir. That's why people reject you. Sir. You are so close. Sir. That's why you are broke you are so close we must speak it to tonight and if somebody watching me right now who says i'm close power tap on your screen and share i need you to open up your mouth and speak to the atmosphere and tell your enemy tonight i'm close it doesn't matter how much it hurts but what i need i know and understand is that i'm close come on someone drop in the comment section i know it hurts and i know like i feel like quitting but because it's close can i promise Side to summer tonight, sir. I know you're being discouraged, sir. I know you don't want to pray, I know you don't want to fast, sir. But God said, 
you are closed up to your season of breakthrough. He said you are closed up to your season of elevation. You are close, so close. And the decision that you make right now, listen to me tonight. It's a Friday, it's tomorrow. The decision that you're going to make right now is going to determine whether you make it or you give up. The decision that you're going to make tonight is going to determine whether it's a grave or it's a cross. Because I'd rather be on the cross in his assignment than to be buried outside of his world. Can I say one more time? I'd rather be at the cross where God wants me right now than to die and be in the grave where God is not present. Are you hearing me? Because his death was not just going to be a death, but his death was a death with resurrection. Are you hearing me? Don't you know that the reason why the enemy wants you to quit? He wants you out of the will of God. That's it. The reason why the enemy tries so hard to show up when you are so desperate. He wants you out of the will of God. I was reading this about Job. Power tap on your screen and shame. We can ready to pray tonight. Because some of you, you're, so, you're caught up in so much pain that the enemy is blinding your eyes. You can't see the way out. You can't see what God is for you. You can't see the plans that God is concerning your life. So the only thing that you see and feel right now is a cup. Are you hearing me? The weight of the assignment is so heavy upon you right now you're forgetting that there is a will of god as you go and lay down right there he prayed he say i may have my will i may have my ways but god you got your will there's some of you watching me right now there is somebody that showed up in your life and betrayed you what was supposed to be easy in your life, you're fighting so many unnecessary battles. It's not just what God is for you. It's not just the promises of God that is weighing you down. But now there is a burden and a yoke that the enemy has put upon your life. When Jesus is speaking and uh, speaks to his disciples and about says, Peter called them and said, God forbid. And he said, get the behind me, Satan. Are you hearing me? He just told them that he was going to die. And Peter says, you can't die. Why? Because the enemy knew that as long and as soon as Jesus, he's the grave. His kingdom is defeated. Can I say that one more time? He knew that as soon as Jesus dies, as the Bible says, when he died, he, asked, he, he went to hell and said they kept us free. So the devil will not have him down because he knows that once he goes down, there is elevation that is about to take place. We must speak it right now. Power up on your skin and shame. The some of you fighting some enemies. Some of it, the reason why God took away the job that you had. He was preparing you for something bigger. When God did you in a season of isolation, the enemy knew that in your isolation, you have enough time with God and you'll be promoted. So what did the enemy do? He showed up and suddenly you're working in a toxic company. Tonight we're going to pray that God removes you from any place where the enemy has you right now god bless you those who listen the gifts because he had to go through that season he had to go through that battle he had to go through that that season and the time in the garden and he had to go to the cross for you and i 
If he had walked out of the garden, we could not have been here. There could not have been freedom in our lives. Power tap on your screen is here. We cannot talk about Christ and salvation without talking about the cross. Somebody power tap on your screen is here. There's some of you, the enemy has your places where your blessing is far. You're stuck in one place because it knows that if you go through the wilderness, you might as well make it to the promised land. So like the children of Israel, they say would rather stay in Egypt than be in the wilderness. But the wilderness is necessary. God bless you those who listen to the gifts. Are you hearing me? Power tap on your skin is she. There's some of you are going through a, a heartbreak right now. You're going through a heartbreak right now. And you're busy crying, God, bring this person back. Where God says, I want you. Where you pray my will. There's a season where you go through so much pain in your life. Where it's no longer about God's will, but it's about what you want right now. Some of you don't even understand the reason why the enemy has victory over your life. That when you go through that season, that garden season, let me call it that tonight. When you, when you go through that garden season or the wilderness season, it doesn't mean that God has neglected you. It doesn't mean that God does not want you to have a good life. He's taking you to the promised land. You, Jesus, you may go through the cross, but after the cross, there is resurrection. The reason why the enemy takes advantage of you is that when you enter into the wilderness season, where you find yourself before the Red Sea, where you find yourself at Mara, where the waters are bitter, you don't ask God for his will, but you're looking for options. Some tap on your screen and she, that's exactly where some of you missed it. Pop on your screen and she, the Bible speaks about Abraham. Abraham and Sarah, they were barren. And the Bible says, because God closed the womb of Sarah. And in the season of dryness, instead of waiting on God, what do they do? Sarah goes on and finds a wife for his husband. There's some doors that you have opened in your life. Why? Because you fail to just pray the will of God. There are some demonic portals that have been opened inside of our lives and marriages. Why? Because we could not just wait on God. Am I communicating tonight? There's some demonic portals that we open because we just could not bear the cross. Now the enemy makes way and it shows up. It happens when Jesus is tempted. Power tap on your skin and she. He's tempted in the wilderness. And by saying the enemy saw that he was hungry, he shows up and he offers him food. <laughs> Are you hearing me? I listen to this. The crazy part is when he shows up in the garden, he said, turn the stones into bread. So now the enemy asks you to use your own hands to sin. I don't know if anybody's getting me. The devil did not offer Jesus food. He did not offer Jesus bread, but he said with your own hands, with your own words, turn the stones into bread and sin. We must speak it to tonight. The Bible says when, when Moses went up the mountain and God is giving him laws, when he came down, they were busy making idols with their own silver, with their own gold, with their own money. They are making an idol in the presence of God. As I pray for you tonight, I don't know what it is the enemy has created to work against your life. I don't know what it is that you created with your hands. I don't know the idols you're building in your house. I don't know the idols you received in your house. I don't know the idols. I don't know the powers introduced in your life. I speak and I declare in the name of Jesus. Let them be broken. 
Yakabasota Mande de Bosaya. We must speak it to tonight, sir. I don't know what it is. You received with your hands. I don't know what it is. You built with your hands. I don't know what it is. They put upon your life as I pray for you tonight, sir. Let the altars break. Let the idols break in the name of Jesus. Are you hearing? Some of you don't even understand why I'm saying this. Because God said there is an idol that you are allowed in your own place. We must speak it to tonight. Sir. There is something you went to buy with your own money. Now all portals are open. There is somebody here. You took your own money. They said we want to build an altar. A Saturday about your time. A Dika Barosa. And on that altar, they curse your names. On that altar, they curse your marriages. On that altar, the curse your business uh, as I pray for you tonight. Uh, any demonic idol, any evil altar that is raised against your life, uh, I prophesy tonight uh, is breaks uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, open up your mouth uh, and command it to break. Maraka Badosa, Shaka Dalayota, Iba Kuda Bayata, it breaks uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, evil idols uh, that were Built with the wealth, uh, evil idols, uh, built with the words, uh, evil idols, uh, built with the clothes, uh, as the prince and knights uh, scattered by fire in the name of Jesus. I'm talking about the wilderness and I'm talking about it being in the garden. Are you hearing me? Some of you watching me right now, it was your own words, it was your own words. You use your own words to speak negativity. You use your own words to curse your own lives. You use your own words. And the Bosaya, am I speaking to somebody tonight? The Bible said the use. When God gave me this revelation, my heart was broken. You remember when the time the children of Israel left Egypt? The Bible said God gave them an instruction to go to the neighbors and to ask them for gold and silver pieces and jewelry. The same thing that God gave them as a blessing is the same blessing that you should build an altar to the enemy. Why? Let's finish here. We must speak into the night. They were afraid of the wilderness. They were desperate in the wilderness. Power tap on your screen and shake. God bless you those who listen the gifts. And if you're on YouTube, click on the subscription button. Are you hearing me? The enemy will try by all means to move you out of the wilderness. Yet the wilderness is a place of transition. Like the garden of Gethsemane, it was a place of transition. Where Jesus was transitioned from his human nature being promoted into the spiritual realm. Are you hearing me? I want us to pray this next prayer. There's some of you because you were afraid of being in that wilderness season. You received some things that were not from God. I was reading the book of Job 23. Listen to what it says. Malede Bahasa. Job 23 verse number 8. I'm going to read from the Amplified Version. Behold, I go forward, but it's not there. And I go backwards. I go forward to the yes, and it's not there. Hear this. I go to the west backwards, but it's not, I cannot perceive him. And verse number 7 says, when he is at work in the north, I do not see him. And when he turns to the south, I do not catch a glimpse of him. Tap on your screen and share. In other words, you find yourself in a season where it feels that God is not present. You find yourself in a season where you're looking for God's hand, but it seems like he's absent. Power tap on your screen and share. We must speak it to right now. You say, I've been, in so, I've been in so many places and it seems like I'm searching, but I don't see God there. Power tap on your screen and share. He says, when I go to the north, behold, I don't see him because he's working on the south. 
I need you to understand that there are times in your life when you don't see God working in your marriage. Why? Because there's busy rearranging things in your finances. Hello? There are times that you don't see God working concerning your visa because there's busy working to break curses in your life. And I love what it says in verse number 10. But he knows, I may not see him working, I may not feel him working, I cannot perceive him when I want to perceive him. But the Bible says, He says, But he knows. I need to speak to somebody tonight. You may not know know the plans of God but God knows you may not know the will of God but God knows as the Bible says naked about he says nevertheless not your will but my will in the season I'm looking for somebody tonight who says God knows I may not see him but he knows I may be tired and weak but my God knows I have been rejected and tired but he knows he says he knows the way that I take her and when he has tried me and when he has tested me I come out as pure as gold I come to prophesy tonight that God says it's only a season and the season will end it's only a chapter and the chapter will close I prophesy tonight in the name of Jesus God says it's nothing but a season that you will come out of Am I speaking to summer tonight? Come on, summer, drop in the comment section. He knows. That's why Jesus says, Nevertheless, your will, not my will. Nevertheless, God, you know the stuff I don't know. You know that I deserve greatness in this life. You know that there is one. I will come out out of the situation. I prophesy tonight in the name of Jesus. The God says you're coming out out of your burning season. You're coming out out of the season where there was nothing but pain. I prophesy tonight in the name of Jesus. He says you're coming out. He says, and when he has tested me, come on somebody, when he has tested me, the season you're going through is nothing but a test. The battle you're fighting is nothing but a test. That the force you're dealing with is nothing but a test. Rejection you're dealing with is nothing but a test. And God knows. Am I speaking to somebody watching me right now? I may not see him. I may not perceive him. I may not understand him. I may not find him when I'm looking for him. But one thing he knows, and they will bring me out. We must speak it to tonight. I come to prophesy that God says, I'll bring you out in the name of Jesus. I prophesy tonight. He says, You'll come out out of that situation. He says, You'll come out out of the cycle. He says, You'll come out out of rejection. We must speak it to tonight. He says, You will come out in the name of Jesus. I come to prophesy tonight. He says, In due season. Thank you, Jesus. He says, uh, In due season, the devil say, uh, In due season, uh, and the Bible says, uh, He says, You will come out, uh, you will not die in the wilderness, uh, but you will come out, uh, you will not die in shame, uh, you will come out, uh, you will not die from poverty. Uh, God says, You'll come out. Thank you, Jesus. You're not stuck, but you're coming out of the season. We must speak it to tonight. God bless you for subscribing. Let it go, sire. God has sent me to prophesy tonight. He said, You come out. You have been crying and complaining. You have been crying and broken. But He said, You come out. It was hurting. He was in pain. He wanted to give up. But the angels showed up and they ministered to Him. Can 
I prophesy to somebody uh, you may be in the wilderness season uh, but they are angels uh, that are coming to minister to your life uh, you may be stuck right now uh, in spiritual blindness uh, you may be stuck right now uh, in financial distress uh, you may be stuck right now uh, in the land of dryness uh, but they are angels uh, that are ministering tonight uh, they are angels uh, ministering to your children uh, I come to prophesy tonight uh, Mare Bacadosa uh, you will come out uh, in the name of Jesus uh, a speaker uh, in the name of Jesus uh, out of rejection uh, out of stagnation uh, out of barrenness uh, out of isolation uh, out of confusion uh, out of the wilderness uh, come out uh, in the name of Jesus uh, I prophesy tonight uh, in the name of Jesus Malika Badosa, Yandeke Badosa, in the place where it hurts, in the place where it burns, in the place of tears, in the place of shame. But God said tonight, you will come out in the name of Jesus with the testimony. You will come out tonight holding a miracle. You will come out tonight holding your children. I prophesy in the name of Jesus. God say tonight, uh, come out, uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, he says, come out, uh, out of witchcraft, uh, come out, uh, out of the prison, uh, he says, come out, uh, out of the wilderness, uh, I prophesy, uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, God is making a way, uh, in the wilderness, uh, he says, come out, Open up your mouth and speak to the devil. Break out Lakuta Bayata out of my life. Open up your mouth uh, and speak to witchcraft uh, and tell the witches uh, out of your life uh, I come to prophesy uh, destruction uh, out of your life uh, divorce uh, out of your life uh, barrenness uh, out of your life uh, Marika Bayata Leko Barosa Yanda Kabadosa Edana Barosa Open up your mouth uh, and command it out uh, in the name of Jesus uh, Come out there is a blessing are you hearing me there is a blessing that is waiting it's saying that there is a miracle that is waiting I come to prophesy tonight he said there is a promise and there is a miracle and there is a that is waiting he says, I look to the yes, I don't see him. How many of you are in that season? We well, say, God, but I don't feel you right now. You've been with me everywhere, but right now I don't feel you. I want us to pray right now. Thank you, Jesus. The some of you are caught up in the midst of destructions. You're best looking at your surroundings. You're surrounded by people that make your situation even worse. You're surrounded by individuals that are busy discouraging you. Power up on your screen is here. He's in the wilderness, he prays and he prays for the will. Power tap on your screen is she. Am I speaking to somebody watching me right now? Let me open it up for you very quickly. I want to give you the revelation that God gave me some time back. And it says in verse number 43, an angel from heaven appeared to him and strengthened him. And he prayed in agony more earnestly. This is after, listen, this is after the angels have ministered to him. He continued to pray and he prayed and he continued in agony 
and his sweats became like great drops of blood falling down to the ground. And God gave me a revelation where the Bible says, the son of the woman shall crush the head of the serpent. And there was a time I was busy studying, wanting to understand what exactly this means. And God began to minister to me and said, that was warfare. Jesus could have stopped praying when the angel ministered to him. But he continued to pray earnestly. Why? Because in that place, it was a battlefield. The battle that he was going to fight did not start on the cross. But it started right there. I feel the presence of God right now. The battle began in the garden. The same way the, the battle started in the garden of Eden. With the Bible saying that the serpent showed up and betrayed the woman. And I was reading and say there is a, there is a certain snake where it bites you. This is in the physical now. They say there is a certain snake when it bites you, you start sweating blood. And God made me understand that that place as you prayed on his knees and the sweat dropping to the ground, that was, he was in the midst of a battle. I need you to understand that the enemy, you don't defeat the enemy the day that you get married. You defeat the enemy the day you make a decision to get on your knees and break the yoke of death and barrenness, separation and anti-marriage. We are speaking to right now. God bless you those who listen the gifts. There's some of you, you feel like the battle is in the eye of one. You feel like you have a, when you get a little bit of money, you feel like you have won. But the battle is won when you enter into warfare. Jesus wins the battle when he surrendered his will and gave into the will of God. Where he understood that he was born for that time. But what's up on your screen is she? I'm looking for somebody watching me right now who says tonight I will fight. And the Bible says when you read on the scripture in the book of John, when they came in as you walked out of the garden, the Bible said they showed up and they asked them, he said, who are you looking for? And they said, we're looking for Jesus. And the Bible says, he said, I am he. They could not sing, they fell down and they went backwards and fell. Why? Because when they walked out of the garden, he didn't just walk out alive. When he walked out of the garden, he did not just walk up an ordinary man. When he walked out of the garden, he was not the ordinary Jesus they knew. But when he said, I am Marekadosa, the glory of God and the image of God and the identity of God was upon his life. I'm here to prophesy to somebody that you are walking into a season. When they look at you, they see the glory. You are walking into a season. Now, when they look at your marakayata, when they look into your business, huh? when they look into your marriage, huh? they cannot stand, huh? but they will power. Huh? I prophesy tonight huh? another dimension huh? of glory upon your life, huh? another dimension huh? where the Bible says huh? the glory of God huh? rests upon your life huh? and it says you'll trample huh? upon the snakes and the serpents, huh? you will trample. I come to prophesy tonight in the name of Jesus. There is glory that is coming to your life. I prophesy tonight. If you can open up your heart in the name of Jesus, there is power that God is releasing. Which God cannot stand. There is power that you are receiving. And Mary cannot stand. There is power that God is releasing. And chains are breaking. Masoko Bayata, chains 
are breaking in the name of Jesus. As I pray for you tonight, sir, let the power of the Holy Ghost be released upon your life. The power to break curses, the power to break yokes, the power to be great, the power to excel. I prophesy tonight, sir, in the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Ghost, any poison planted in your life, it calls a speaker in the name of Jesus, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, any power that is working against your life, it bows in the name of Jesus, any power speaking against your life, we break it in the name of Jesus, any power planting your life, we break it up. Lande Kebadosa, Yanda Karosa, open up your mouth and command it to break in the name of Jesus. Open up your mouth, Satebeakuta, Lebadosa, Zakabayata, open up your mouth, let the powers be broken up. Open up your mouth, let the yokes be broken up. Open up your mouth in the name of Jesus. When the disciples came back, Listen to this. Jesus sends the disciples to go and preach. And when they went preaching, they went to preach a message. And they didn't understand that after them preaching and after the service, there was glory that was waiting. They've been in a season where you've been working but no answers. But there is glory that is waiting to release. And the Bible says, He said, Behold, I saw Satan falling down like lightning. I saw Satan uh, falling down like lightning. Unbelievable uh, Satan, uh, God has sent me tonight uh, to preach in your life. Uh to prophesy tonight uh, strongholds are falling up uh, and chains are breaking up uh, curses are breaking up uh, in the name of Jesus uh, like lightning up uh, their powers are falling up uh, like lightning up uh, rejection crushes up uh, like lightning up uh, addiction crushes up uh, in the name of Jesus you say behold <laughs> As you were just ministering, I, I need someone to understand tonight that as you open up your mouth in prayer, there are powers that are crushing tonight. As you open up your mouth, according to God's will, they are chains breaking up, generational curses are breaking up. Yande Kerosa, evil idols that carry your image are breaking tonight. Evil altars that carry your names are breaking tonight. Yakabarosa. Commander to break in the name of Jesus. He says, I've given you the authority to trample upon the snakes and upon the scorpions. Somebody rise up on your feet. Uh, there is a time where your witches were standing, but God said tonight you take the stand. When they came to capture Jesus, ah, Rabbi Sota, Jesus had to stand and they fell back and crushed. We must speak it to tonight because you've been through the wilderness and you've been through the garden. God says it's your turn when you take the stand. Come on, somebody, rise up on your feet and take the stand. As the Bible says, Ephesians 6 10. Having done all to stand, therefore stand. I'm looking for somebody tonight who says, I will stand and I will crush the head of the serpent. I will stand and I will crush and walk on scorpions. We must speak it to tonight. If you can stand and begin to crush the head of the serpent, a 
as they crushed uh, the head of the serpent uh, in the garden of Gethsemane. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of And he says, you walk uh, amongst the snakes. Uh, rise up on your feet. Uh, he says, you walk uh, among the cross. Uh, and the Dabakunda. Ezakuda Bayato. Melerebo Kosata. He says, walk uh, amongst the serpent. Uh, he says, walk uh, and trample uh, upon the scorpions. Uh, where is rejection? Uh, we crush. Uh, where is the force? Uh, we crush. Uh, where is witchcraft? Uh, we crush. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Come on, somebody rise up on your feet. I'm talking about you standing. Come on, somebody. You say, I'm going to stand. I have given you authority over all the powers of the enemy. <laughs> I don't think some of you read the word of God to understand. Are you hearing me? Because there is a dimension of power that when God releases it upon your life, you fear nobody. Rise up on your feet. He says, I've given you the power. Are you hearing me? I've given you the power. I'm telling you that your season of hiding has come to an end. Summer tap on your screen is here. But bless you, those that listen the gifts. And please make sure you click on the subscription button. Rise up on your feet. I'm waiting for you. I'm waiting for you to take the sin tonight. He says, Look. The other thing says, says, Behold. Can you not see that I have given you power? Huh? I need you to enter into the realm and the dimension where you tell the enemy that God has given me the power. Do you know some of you, the, the enemies that you're fighting, they're afraid of your pastor, but they're not even afraid of you. That's why every time after every service, you go back home and there is a battle. They fear your pastor, but they don't fear you. Come on, somebody. Am I communicating tonight? They're afraid of your pastor, your friends, but they're not even afraid of you. That's why every night you're being toasted and turned. There's somebody watching me right now. Every time you're sleeping, you feel like, what can I use? Kuda baba baba, thank, thank you, Jesus. You see this teddy bear. Some of you, every time you sleep on your bed, you feel like something is spinning you. Let me see your hand emoji if you're there. So during the day, you're, you're, you're pretty and beautiful at work. But during the night, they turn you around, they spin you, they throw you up and down. You wake up with pain all over your body. Power tap on your screen is she. It's some of it in your own house that you pay every month with your own money. They throw you up and down. He said, look. He says, behold. Because when the disciples so demons coming up they didn't understand that the powers upon their lives <laughs> there is power that god is taking away from the hands of the enemy and it's being transferred upon your lives he said and replied i saw satan falling down like lightning from heaven can, can i prophesy over somebody watching me right now there is somebody there is a system, there is a power that God is bringing down in order to elevate you. Come on, somebody. Can, can I say that one more time? There is a system, there is a covenant, there are altars that God is pulling down in order to elevate you. Are you ready tonight? I so certain fall down like lightning so it's no longer above your head it's no longer above up, above your, your your destiny but he fell 
The Bible said when Jesus said, I am a year, nothing pushed them, but they fell. God bless you, those that listen the gifts. Rise up on your feet. If you're ready to say, I'm ready. I'm still waiting for you. If you're at work, I understand. But if you're at home, rise up on your feet. Thank you, Jesus. Listen, I pray this prayer over everybody watching me right now. May God give you your own properties. God bless you for the gifts. May God give you your own properties and land. Because some of you watching me right now, you want to pray, but you can't pray. Because the neighbors are complaining. You want to pray and enter into warfare. But you got a roommate that is not even a Christian. You got a roommate that does not even allow you to pray. I speak in the name of Jesus that God is enlarging your territory. Are you hearing me? Because one of the things that I prayed to defeat was that spirit that does not allow me to minister well. Are you hearing me? You gotta scream as much as you can. God bless you for subscribing. Are you hearing me? God bless you for joining on YouTube. And remember to follow on TikTok as well. Are you hearing me? Some of you, you can't enter into warfare because you don't want to hear them praying. Listen, I understand where you are because I was there before. Some of you know my testimony. I'll go into a cupboard and put blankets upon my head and enter into warfare. Why? Because there are battles that are necessary for you to fight. Are you hearing me? Power tap on your screen and she. I'll make sure that I close myself. I will try. Tap on your screen and she. If you're ready, tap in, I'm ready. He said, Behold, I have given you authority. The NIV says, Behold, I have given you authority to trend on serpents and scorpion and over all the powers of the enemy. And nothing by all means shall harm you i want you to rise up on your feet as we pray tonight you say god with the power that is upon my life i pull down everything that is standing against my life i pull down any stronghold are you hearing me we got 1600 people on tiktok and 80 of you watching me on on youtube i want us to make a sounding of prayer in the atmosphere like you know that you want to come out of the wilderness am i speaking to summer tonight you pray like you know that you want out of that condition you pray like you know that you are defeating the spirit of delay the some of you the enemy decide to just send and block you you just can't go anywhere in life it's a power that is working against you. Are you hearing me? Some of you are beautiful, you are anointed, but you are nowhere. All your doors have been sealed shut. He says, behold. Power tap on your screen is she. I'm telling you, the Bible says, they said, Lord, let your will be done. He was in the midst of warfare. Are you hearing me? Because he was battling so he can stand in the will of God. God bless you for the money gun. Are you hearing me? I need you to understand that there is something that you carry that you need to fight for. There is glory that you need to attain so you can't give up right now because the blessing is waiting the reason why the enemy is fighting you he knows that the day that you make money the day that god blesses you is not just for you but it's for nations there's some of you watching me right now you don't even know that you are fighting battles for the whole generation your entire bloodline 
so the enemy is fighting you. Do I have some bread winners watching me right now? It only makes sense for you to be under attack because you have a great destiny. The disciples could not stand. Jesus said, can you not just be awake and pray for just an hour? They could not work and they could not pray because they didn't understand the journey that was ahead. It is necessary for you to stand and fight in this season. God bless you, Evangelist Miriam. It is necessary for you to be bold in this season because the enemy has seen you as a target. I need you to understand that you're a warrior in the kingdom. Can you hear me on YouTube? Make sure you click on the subscription button. It is necessary because there is glory after this. That is the title of the message today. There shall be glory after this. Are you hearing me? He said there shall be glory after this. Tried and tested. Betrayed, rejected, called names. Some of you have been called witches. I need you to understand that God said there is glory. There shall be glory after this. Shalom says, I'm tired with everything. I've also been tired, love. I was tired until I knew that I don't, I don't have anybody that's going to come and fight this battle for me. Power tap on your screen. Am I, communi am I communicating tonight? I was tired. I wanted to give up and surrender until I realized that nobody is coming. Tap on your screen and share. Can you imagine Jesus thinking that he's got his disciples praying for him and he looks back and the men are sleeping. It was not even everybody, the ones that he loved, the ones that were close. He's fighting a battle and they're sleeping. Somebody power tap on your screen and she. I found myself in that situation where I realized that nobody is coming. Step on your skin and she. I need you to enter into the season with an understanding that there is a battle that you gotta fight to be where God wants you to be. God bless you for the gifts. Are you hearing me? Well, you know that if I don't fight, I would die. The Bible speaks of the four lepers. There was a famine in the land, and they were sitting by the gate full of them. And they knew that if we don't do something, nobody's going to come. Power tap on your screen and share. I'm hearing in, in my spirit, God say that I'm releasing resurrection. God is releasing resurrection. Why? Because I'm talking about fighting for your gift. But some of you watching me right now, you lost it. You don't even know what to fight for anymore. There is a release of restoration taking place right now. Come on, somebody receive it in the name of Jesus. Your identity is being restored. Your gifts are being restored. Your passion is being restored in the name of Jesus. Are you still on your feet? Come on, we have in church tonight. Come and receive your gifts back. We have in church tonight. The some of you living in hiding, in isolation, but you don't know the power that God has released upon your life. The reason why you can't say nothing but negativity in your life is because the enemy knows the power in your words. So once you say it, you have it. You don't understand the power that God has released upon your hands. You don't understand the power that God has put upon your life. 
Malada Bahasa. He say, I have given you power. I have given you authority. Let me sit with that. He says, I have given you authority. So everything is beneath you. It can never be above you. It can never be on control of you. But it says it's beneath you. All the powers of the enemy that you're busy hiding from. It's not above you, but it's beneath you because it says I've given you authority over every power. Power up on your screen. I want us to pray this next prayer. You say, God, anything that is power over my life, any spirit that is power over my husband, you're not just praying for yourself. God bless you for the gifts. You're not just praying for yourself, but you're praying for your generation. You're praying for your family, your husbands, your wives, your children, your grandchildren. You pray for everybody tonight. You say, God, anything that is power over their lives, if it is addiction, if it is witchcraft, if it is rejection, if they are idols, if they are demonic images, if it is sorcery, let that power be broken in the name of Jesus. I need you to pray like you understand that you carry the power. Are you hearing me? You carry the power that God has put upon your life. Power tap on your screen and share and click on the subscription button. I want you to know and I want you to pray like you know the power that God has put upon your life. You say, God, as I pray tonight, let anything that is controlling my life, whatever, listen to this. He's saying, and nothing will harm you. And nothing will injure you. He says, and nothing by all means shall be able to injure, injure you. He said nothing, Kariabayata. He says absolutely nothing because of the power that the that the Lord has put upon your life. He said that you will destroy anything that is of the enemy in your life. Power tap on your screen is here. Are you ready for us to pray tonight? Rise up and be on your feet as we pray. Lada Bahasa. Rise up on your feet as we pray. Thank you, Jesus. Are you ready? If you can invite somebody, text somebody, your family members, just tag them. Let them join us in, in prayer. Thank you, Jesus. You say there is nothing that rules in a family that is not of God. You say anything that is evil and demonic. Those that have the water in their hands, hold it in your hands as you pray. You say anything that is not of God in my life. I trample. I break. And I crush. Are you hearing me? Satellite de Bosaya. Jacob Alakida Bahasa. Rise up on your feet as, as we pray. He says, Behold. He says, Behold. I have given you authority. Are you ready for us to pray tonight? You pray, you say in the name of Jesus. Any power of the enemy that is working against my life. Any power of the enemy. That is speaking against my life, speaking against my children, speaking against my destiny. I command it to be broken in the name of Jesus. As you pray this prayer, I am commanding in the name of Jesus. 
angels of warfare let them begin to move in this atmosphere in the name of Jesus I speak a release of the fire of the Holy Ghost to begin to move tonight in the name of Jesus open up your mouth in prayer in the name of Jesus La Sote Becadosa, Manda Cadosa, any evil power, Ayata Barosa, against your life, any evil power, against your children, any evil power, against your inheritance, any demonic power, against your assignment, as you pray tonight, we command it to break in the name of Jesus, La Rabagadosa, Sekebekonda, Mayanda Rabacasota. Zaka Bayadosa, Liba Gadosa, Zatana de Mosata, let there be a release of fire, let the power of God begin to move tonight, and let there be deliverance. Any demonic power that is a hold on your life, any power, Adanamandosa, Le Cadusa, that is holding your glory, any power holding your vision, any power holding your marriage, any power holding your in air karata is that a holding your hands up holding your dreams up holding your feet up as a prince and nights up let it begin to break up in the name of jesus like a badosa manda kadosa we scatter by fire reke bedosa malanda kayata generous of powers up working against our lives up demonic altars up pointing on lives up pointing on children up we command them to break up. Run the dead of Messiah. Open up your mouth and command them to break up. Open up your mouth and command them to scatter. Eta tayata, masaka lebayata, masaka dora bayata, lende kerosa, isaka bayata. Fire comes out of your mouth. Let there be fire coming out of your mouth. Ezuka badosa, zata bayata. Open up your mouth. Like you know you carry power, open up your mouth like you carry fire. Bayata, form it out, cough it out, burp it out in the name of Jesus. Any power that causes divorce and the Messiah, any power that causes separation, any power, rate bayata, breaking marriages, any power breaking homes. I command it to break. In the name of Jesus, Lekere Boyata, Zata Bayata, we must speak it to tonight. Any power, any altar, the altars of divorce, altars of shame, altars of barrenness, altars of anti marriage, scattered by fire. In the name of Jesus, La Prata Bayata, Masaka Dosa, Era Bayata, open up your mouth, let them be broken. In the name of Jesus, and the devil sire is a tabayata, masuka badosa. Thank you, Jesus. Any power that is binding your marriage, we must speak it to tonight. There is a power that says you can't marry her. There is a power that says you can't have kids. There is a power that says no settlement. There is a power and an altar. Let it be broken in the name of Jesus. Let it be broken. Is that a gabayata? Mazoka barota, and the devil sire, la bradaya, anti marriage upon your children, anti marriage upon your partners, anti marriage upon your grandchildren, upon your siblings, scatter by fire, rate beata, is that also let there be fire in the name of Jesus, let there be fire, raka badosa, I break her. Demonic engagements, I break her. Satanic marriages, I break her. Marine marriages, scatter by fire. Eda Bagusa, landed the Messiah. Power tap on your screen and press on the share button. Anti marriage, it breaks her. Form it out, cough it out, prep it out. Is that a gadiata? Manda Carosa, separation, it breaks her. The power. 
powers of anti-marriage, they break in the name of Jesus. Open up your mouth and pray. I see your ring finger burning. I see fire in your womb. Where is that spiritual husband? Hide it tonight, sir. Where is that power? Hide it tonight, sir. Come out in the name of Jesus, sir. Break loose, sir. In the name of Jesus, sir. Where is that yoke? Hide it tonight, sir. It breaks, sir. In the name of Jesus, sir. Let it be fire and the kebadosa. Open up your mouth. And speak the voice up. Let them lose your husband. Uh, the spiritual husband. Uh, I divorce her. Uh, spiritual wife. Uh, I divorce her. Uh, open up your mouth. Uh, separate yourself. Uh, you have the power. Break uh, You have the power. Scatter. In the name of Jesus. Manda Kabarosa. Ekabadosa. Let the devil sata. Maruka Bayata. Break her. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, you anti marriage, what are you waiting for? Come out in the name of Jesus, for and bow in the name of Jesus, vomit and go in the name of Jesus, leparata, spiritual barrenness, come out in the name of Jesus, every vibrator, come out, every sister, come out, yes, infection, come out in the name of Jesus. Bayata, sex in the dreams, break out. Ela Kabayata, Zaka Bayota, in the name of Jesus. Listen to this. If you've been having sex in the dreams, come on, rise up on your feet and separate yourself with your hands. Speak at your voice. And then There's some of you tonight, sir. You are pregnant in the dreams with your hands. Fire in your womb. Marriage in the dreams. And the Yata bayata. But never married. You're being divorced. You're being rejected. Ayadosa. Kabayata, fire in the name of Jesus, fire as a bayata, elekubaradosa. Listen, some of you don't even understand that your husband is not abusive, that man is not abusive in nature because before you, he was a good man in his relationship. Are you hearing me? Power tap on your skin and shame. That man is not useless. You fell in love with him because you saw something. God bless you, those who listen to the gifts. Are you hearing me? The reason why you got married is because there is a time you saw something. That woman that you want to divorce today, there is something that your soul and your heart was beaten. But now when you look at your wife, you see nothing but a demon. When you look at your husband, you see nothing but an enemy. Any spirit that causes divorce, any demonic spirit that has entered your mind, any demonic spirit, the spirit of divorce that has entered your marriage, I cast it out. Come out in the name of Jesus. Come out. Form it your powers. Form it your powers. And break. In the name of Jesus. God bless you those releasing the gifts and the seeds. In the name of Jesus. Are you ready? Are you on your feet? There's some of you, you don't want to be alone. And every time you got somebody, you get too busy. And I want to tell somebody right now that yes, you have children. And yes, you love your children. But there is something about marriage that you raise your children in a good home with the father and the mother. I mean to tell somebody, being a single mother is no excuse for you to be sleeping around. Being a single mother is not an excuse to not to what marriage and the rebel sata anti marriage controlling your face anti marriage controlling your lips come out in the name of Jesus come out fire 
let them satan if you're burning let me know what is happening if you're coughing let me know what is happening let bracadosa open up your mouth and tell the devil out of your marriage out of your husband out of your wife come out in the name of jesus form it out cough it out i pray right now any power that causes poverty any demonic spirit that causes loss any demonic spirit uh, that causes failure any evil spirit uh, that closes your doors uh, any power that shut down your glory uh, any power taking away your money uh, fire in your hands uh, fire in your hands uh, come out uh, in the name of Jesus uh, come out uh, la bradayata ezetebayata la bracadosa that poverty mindset uh, come out uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, the poverty curse uh, come out uh, fire. In the name of Jesus, la terrible Satan, what is that power that takes away your money? Where is that power that steals your connection? Where is that power? Open up your mouth, command it out, open up your mouth, out of your life. Any yoke that is binding your money. Any chain uh, binding your wealth, uh, any chain uh, binding your properties, uh, any altar, Radeka Rosa, Isa Padika, Edana Barata, any altar, the beauty to money, uh, I command it to break uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, fire, Satebayata, fire, let them loose, uh, release the money tonight, uh, release the money tonight, uh, break. He says, I've given you power. I want you on your feet. He said, you will trample upon the snakes and, your, and scorpions. But what happened, you're screaming, she. I'm hearing God say, anything that is sent in your way, I don't think anybody's hearing me. Anything that is sent in your direction in order to bring you down. Anything that is planted, that is waiting to strike. He said you will crush. Ayabarahasa. We must speak it to tonight. Any poison that you will receive in the dreams any demonic charm that lives on your body he says you will Edabarosa. are you on your feet tonight because one thing that is common between a scorpion and a snake they are weapon is a poison they carry in other words if you remove the venom from the snake it becomes weak if you remove the poison from the scorpion it becomes like nothing I am a Santa. I want you to rise up on your feet. God said there is something that you need to crush. He said there is an altar that you need to crush. There is something that sits in your house that we need to break. There are images that you see in the night that you need to crush. Come on, summer tonight. Rise up on your feet. There are dogs chasing you in the dreams that we need to crush uh, there is a snake uh, that you see in the dreams uh, that we need to crush uh, there is poison uh, that you ate uh, there is poison uh, in your blood uh, that causes sickness uh, there is poison uh, in the name of Jesus uh, 
Azuka Padosa, Ele de Kiado, Azata Bayata, Mande Kedosa, in the name of Jesus, I prophesy and I pray for you tonight, sir. Any poison hiding in your womb, any poison in your blood, any poison in your body, form it out in the name of Jesus, cough it out, prep it out, come out in the name of Jesus, Ella Barata, Zate de Nebosa, Cade Beata, Lande de Nebosa, Mazaku Bayata, come out in the name of Jesus, come out, come out. Any poison under the Bosata, because some of you are me right now, even though you crush it, the poison is already in the system. Did you hear me? The reason why we pray this prayer if you got your water, drinking your water right now, power tap on your skin is here. Am I speaking to somebody watching me right now? Because you may kill the snake now, but some of you watching me right now, the poison is already in your system. Yes, you can crush it, but already the poison is in the bloodline. There's some witches in your generation, they died, but the poison is in the generation. We must speak it to tonight. Lepra Kudarata, Azate Bayata, any evil poison hiding in your body, any poison, Ande Rakusa, Elataya Bayata, the central animals, the central snakes. They said to raise up as I pray tonight, form it out, cough it out, pop it out in the name of Jesus. Marede de Mosata, Yanda Kabadosa, Holy Ghost touch, Holy Ghost touch, Holy Ghost move, let your fire burn, let your fire burn. Ye Kadosa, Yere de Mosata, Yando Kobarasa, come out in the name of Jesus. Masaka Bayata, any marker upon your body, it burns. Any marker, the mark of witchcraft, it burns. In the name of Jesus, La Paratosa, Yanda Kadasa, Yanda Karosa, come out. In the name of Jesus, break loose. Some of you are eating, you're drinking water. Some of you saw yourself in the dreams in another dimension that is not on earth. We must speak into right now. Because sometimes in order for your enemy to defeat you, he takes you to a certain realm that you don't understand. There's some of you watching me right now. You find yourself in a realm. You are not in heaven, you are not on earth, but you are in a certain realm. Are you hearing me? You were in a certain realm. There is a portal that you entered and you find yourself in a different place. Come on, that is the liver second place. As you're yawning, that is the liver second place. The some of it that took you to a realm and that took you to a dimension where you were weak and tired, where you could not pray, when they were serving your food, when you saw beautiful ladies. As I pray for you tonight, sir, any demonic power that controls your life, sir, any evil power that takes you under the water, into the desert, sir, into the graves, sir, Break in the name of Jesus. Break Yarata Bayata. Break and scatter in the name of Jesus. Some of you watching me right now. Power tap on your skin and shape. You had a dream and you woke up from a dream. You were holding gifts, but they were not from God. Now, I want to pray for you right now. You received gifts, but they were not from God. You woke up, you had gifts in your hands, but these are not from God. Some of you received a curse upon your hands. Now you don't even know why things are not working in your life. The some of you watching me right now. You sold beads in the dreams. Now you got beads around your waist. You don't even know why you're just good enough for men to sleep with you. But nobody ever settles with you. There's some of you who receive gifts in the dreams. 
and since then men are coming after you like that and you don't even know why there's some of you you're under a covenant that you know nothing about you're under a certain curse that you work for the kingdom of darkness without even knowing it I want us to crush the head of the serpent you say God anybody that was sent in my direction anything that was sent in my direction anything that was put upon my life in a hole I crush it in the name of Jesus you say devil you have no power over my life power tap on your screen and share you know there is a time where we pray like this and and you know somebody comes in and say why do you pray like that do you think jesus was just crossing his hands like this the boss say you was in agony in the spirit there is a dimension and a realm in prayer where you become prayer itself did you hear what i read in the scripture or he said he prayed in agony because he knew that he was fighting a bigger battle power tap on your screen and share if you don't like the way that you pray that's up to you but if you have ever been in a time in your life where you see nothing is working in your life and you're surrounded by people that their lives are in order. You pray differently. Tap on your screen and share. Are, are you hearing me? I'm telling you, this is midnight. I could have been sleeping. But there is a level in your life where you fight for your assignment. Now listen to this. The boss said the angel came and ministered to him. And they left, but the men continued praying. Have you ever asked yourself, like, what, 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 what kind of prayer was Jesus praying? What were the contents of his prayer that he prayed? Him being the son of God, he tells the disciples, he's saying men ought to pray and not to faint. So what is it that he, this man saw that we do not even see right now? Because when it comes to prayer, it's not just praying for blessings. Because Jesus did not need any blessing because the man was a blessing himself. <laughs> Power tap on your screen. Are you hearing me? If he himself, he encouraged the disciples, he said, you got to pray. And he spoke to Peter. He said, Peter, Satan has asked for you. But I have prayed for you. <laughs> Are you hearing me? The boss said Jesus would withdraw and go into the mountain and spend the whole night in prayer. You, you can't stay one minute in prayer. The best you can do is demand. God must bless me. God must change me. <laughs> Tap on your screen and share. And listen, the boss says, and an angel appeared, an angel from heaven appeared to him and strengthened him <laughs> tap on your screen and share you pray to them sin that god had to send an angel to go and strengthen him there is a time where you feel weak and tired but you know you need to fight the battle you say god i'm here send your angels the angel came and strengthened them and even after being strengthened by the angel he says in verse number 45 verse number 44 Luke 22 44 and being in anguish he prayed more earnestly did you hear that he prayed more earnestly he did not stop but he continued and the sweat was like drops of blood falling to the ground are you ready for us to pray tonight Are you ready for us to pray tonight? The kind of money that God wants to release upon your life. 
the kind of blessings and doors that God wants to open up on your life, you need to stay and pray on your knees. You prayed more earnestly. Get that more. If you're vomiting or coughing or burping, let me know what is happening. This next prayer, I want us to pray this prayer on our knees. I know we have crushed the enemy, but now we got to be on our knees. The son of man, being God himself in flesh, if he could spend hours and hours in prayer, who are you not to pray? Some of you are planning this Easter, I'm going to spend time with my boyfriend. I want to look pretty for him. I want to do this for him. Tap on your screen and share. He said you got to pray. I don't know what your plans were in this weekend, but you got to pray. Somebody tap on your screen and share. Are you hearing me? Because on a time like this, he prayed. I want us to pray on our knees right now. He prayed even more. Somebody say some burping. The enemy is not afraid of the car that you're driving. The enemy is not afraid of your beauty. It means nothing. The enemy is not afraid of the way that you portray yourself out there. Are you not tired of living a life of pretending? Somebody says I'm vomiting. The enemy is afraid of the way that you pray. The enemy is afraid of the mentor of prayer that rests upon your life. The presence of God that you carry. Power tap on your screen is she. Are you hearing me? Does some of you feel like, oh, because I'm pretty, I'm going to get a man that's going to take care of me. The enemy is not even afraid of that. The enemy is not even looking at your looks. That's why some of you are so jealous that others are getting married. They don't look pretty. They're not even as built as you are, but they're enjoying marriages, yet you've got nothing. God bless you, those who listen the gifts. We must speak into right now. The enemy is not even afraid of all, all your documents. Some of you are qualified and educated. When you talk about greatness on this at the realm, greatness is not according to documents. Greatness is not according to influence, but it's the grace of God that rests upon your life that makes you great. The Bible says, the blessing of the Lord maketh one rich, and it has no sorrow to it. Are you hearing me? Some of you watching me right now, you're busy calling sir to somebody that is not as educated as you are. There's some things that you need to receive and claim in prayer. There are some doors that prayer has to open in your life. Somebody power tap on your screen and she. Who am I speaking to right now? Some of you went to interviews because you, you had a familiar face. You know, there is somebody that was so familiar that you saw there. And you walked out think, thinking, oh, it's automatic, I have the job. But still, you didn't even get the job. There is a battle that is worth fighting. Somebody tap on your screen here. We're going to pray and cry to God on our knees. Are you hearing me? You prayed more earnestly. Are you hearing me? You prayed even more. As much as it hurt, he prayed even more. I'm here to speak to somebody who is in a difficult situation. You're in that situation that you pray for rain like Elijah, but he didn't pour.
Thank you, Jesus. Some of you, you're getting ready to receive new tongues as we pray. There is an activation that is about to take place in the spirit. Thank you, Jesus. He prayed even more. There is glory that is getting ready to come after this prayer that we pray. And even when they showed up to arrest him, they spoke boldly. Before then, there was a time when Jesus did not want to tell anybody that is the Son of God. But after that, he spoke boldly because he knew that the battle was already won. Are you hearing me? There is so much that God has been preparing for you that you're about to encounter right now. Thank you, Jesus. I want you on your knees to pray right now. If you can cry to God like never before. You said, God, I know that you have something that you have promised in my life. I know that there is glory. There shall be glory after this. But God carry me out of the season. Are you hearing me? You say, God, help me out of the season. You're in a difficult situation right now. When the apostle prays, they say, there is a thorn in my flesh. I prayed and I cried to God, but he did not even remove it. More than once, the Bible says, they said, I prayed. But God did not remove it and say that my grace is sufficient for you. I need you to understand that there is grace that God wants to release in your life right now. He said that my grace is sufficient for you. Are you hearing me? The children of Israel had to go through the wilderness so they can get to the promised land. And when they got to the promised land, please make sure you subscribe and press on the follow button. Thank you, Jesus. And those who are listening, the seed and the gifts, let it be your declaration the victory. That is the seed that we're raising tonight. The victory. Because that's what God is released in our lives tonight. You just name that seed victory. Because that's what God has released in your life tonight. And God said that after this weekend, you're going to walk in with the victory. You're going to walk through doors that you never expected to walk through. He says, I'm leading you into a land of possibilities. Where everything work out in your favor in the name of Jesus. Come on, somebody, you got to receive it. He says, I need you to understand that there shall be victory after this. I know you all, you have all the reasons why you want to quit right now. You know everything is not working in your life. You just want to quit. But God said there shall be glory after this. We must speak into right now. I need you to say, God, restore my strength. God, open up my sight and restore my vision. You say, God, release another dimension of fire upon my life. That I'll be unbreakable. I'll be undis indestructible. Come on, somebody. Thank you, Jesus. Are you ready for us to pray? If you can just be on your knees, just humble yourself one more time. If you can humble yourself before the Lord tonight. 
Just humble yourself before the Lord tonight. Some of you watching me right now, the only prayer that you pray is when you're about to eat. Some of you, when night comes, you can't even pray. You just cover yourself and say, God protect me, that's it. But there is a season in your life when you humble yourself because you are desperate. There is a season where you go as low as your knees. I can imagine Jesus being on his knees praying. He did not even mind the way that he looked. His eyes were on the cross and his eyes were on the prize. He didn't even mind the way that he looked. Are you hearing me? How low can you go tonight? How low can you get tonight in the presence of God? How low can you get in the presence of God? The Bible says Elijah prayed with his head between his knees. The man can command fire. We don't know where the man came from, but Elijah just appeared. He's a man who was a major prophet, but he found himself on his knees as he prayed for rain. Tap on your screen and share. And if you have not followed, press on the follow button. God bless you, those who listen the gifts. And if you're watching on YouTube, click on the subscription button. Are you hearing me? There's some of you watching me right now, a little bit of drought, a little bit of delay, and you're looking for other options. Thank you, Jesus. I was reading the story of Elijah with the baptize. They were calling to their own God. And he said to them, call even louder, maybe your God is sleeping. And is somebody watching me right now that is confidence in God. In these days where people are believing in anything that is working. I was reading the Bible where it says, all the other gods are works of men. But you are the most high God. I need somebody that is just desperate for God tonight. As I am. I know that God, if you don't show up for me, then no one will. That's why Jesus stayed and he prayed. He says, I have nobody, God, but you. Somebody power tap on your screen and share. And is somebody watching me right now that say, God, you know there is nobody but you. I have nobody but you. If you don't show up right now, if you don't help me right now, God, I will lose it. Tap on your spirit. God bless you, those who are listening the gifts. If you can humble yourself one more time before the presence of God. You say, God, I have nobody but you. You say, God, I know no other options but to be on my knees. There's some things when God promised them upon your life. It doesn't matter what you do or where you go. It never works. Tap on your screen and share. The Bible says that God is not a man that he will lie. 
not the son of man to change his mind. God bless you for the gifts. He said it and he would do it. He said it and he would do it. God bless you for the gifts. Are you ready for us to pray tonight? If you don't know what to what to pray as we pray right now, just thank him and worship him. Are you hearing me? If you have run out of words to say, just say, God, let your will be done. I'm, I'm telling you that's a prayer that changed my entire life. I remember being in a desperate situation, you know, when you, when you know that you, you've run out of options, you are stuck, you are broken, you are just there. You say, God, let your will be done in my life. You say, God, I'm tired, for, I'm tired of looking for prophets and not finding you. You say, I'm tired of, I'm, I'm tired of just finding things and not finding you and not being in your presence. Elijah prayed on his knees because God promised them rain. He had promised the rain, but he still had to pray for the rain. Are you hearing me? I'm speaking to somebody who is holding on to a prophetic word. Yes, God released the prophecy, but you got to pray for that word to come to pass. You say, I'm going to pray for it. I know God you say you will do it, but I'm still going to pray for it. I'm humble enough to be on my knees tonight. I'm desperate enough to be on my knees. Some of you just being on your knees as you are tonight. You being on your knees right now. There is a miracle that God is releasing in your life. you being in the state of surrender i'm seeing god releasing jobs restoration is second place in your marriages tap on your fin tap on your screen and share i'm sensing another dimension of grace being released tonight he says i need you to receive what i'm about to release like you know that you've been waiting for it. In the next couple of minutes as we pray, if you can pray in, in tongues, if you can pray in the spirit and say, God, release everything that you say you release in my life. You say, God, do everything that you say you'll do in my life. Heavenly Father, we pray tonight on our knees. God, we pray on our knees. We pray nothing but your will tonight. We pray nothing but your will tonight. Over everybody watching right now, God, over every marriage, every household, every child, every mother, every father. Pray your will tonight in the name of Jesus. Lord, right now as we pray, we pray for your mercy. God, show us mercy tonight. God, have mercy on us tonight in the name of Jesus. Lord, if we have failed and we, if we have drifted, God, show us mercy.
We call for your mercy tonight. We call for your mercy tonight. Just open up your mouth and say something to God. Just cry for mercy tonight. You say, God, I've put myself in compromising positions, but show me mercy tonight. I have doubted your power. I have doubted your grace and your mercy. But God, show me mercy tonight. You are a great and a kind God. And every father is to pray on our knees right now. I'm asking in the name of Jesus. The God, you break open your heavens. And let there be a supernatural outpouring tonight in the name of Jesus. I speak right now in the name of Jesus. The God, you revive us. Lord, our hearts are open and we are desperate to receive what is only from you, God, tonight in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray right now in the name of Jesus, touch every heart, touch every mind tonight. Let there be an appalling in the name of Jesus. Let there be an appalling, let there be revival. Let there be revival. Let there be revival tonight in the name of Jesus. Let there be an appalling in the name of Jesus. Let there be an appalling tonight in the name of Jesus. We cry on our knees for your rain. We cry on our knees for your rain tonight. Lord, give us direction. Thank you, Jesus. somebody watching me right now you say God everything that is mine let it be for your glory you say God is a prayer take away everything that does not give you glory in my life take away anything that brings shame in my life I need you to understand that you are about to live a life where God glorifies himself in your life. Are you hearing me? I was meditating on the word tonight. But the Bible says he gives seed to the sower. And he gives food to the eater. And my prayer tonight was God. I'm not just praying for enough right now. I'm not just praying for food to eat right now. But I'm asking that you release a seed in my life. Are you hearing me? Because some of you, the reason why you find yourself stuck in the same position you asking for food woman of god what do you mean food I'm, i mean you're asking for what is enough for now some of you are asking for what you can enjoy right now where god says i want to give you what will be enough to sustain generations upon generations some tap on your screen and share when God was, what was blessing Abraham and Isaac, he didn't just release a blessing upon them, but he said, I will make your name great and your descendants shall be blessed through you. 
what God was doing when he was blessing them, he was releasing a seed. A seed that was meant to germinate. Are you hearing me? You say God dropped that seed inside of me right now. I'm asking for more than enough. Because when Elijah was praying, he didn't just pray for ordinary rain. God bless you for the gifts. But he prayed for abundance of rain. That's what God is asking you to ask for right now. I need somebody who is not just praying for money right now, but you are praying for a vision. You are praying for a dream. You say, God, pull into this vision. Because one who receives food to eat, they only have enough for that day. But the one that receives a seed, they drop the seed in the ground and they wait and they have an expectation. And God says, I'm looking for way I can pour in. I'm looking for somebody that is asking for more. Everybody that is asking for a seed that is a seed in the ground. You say God release more and more right now. Power tap on your screen is here. Are you hearing me? Some of you watching me right now. The enemy is taking away the only thing that you have in your hands. You're walking in your life, you have no vision, no, no direction and nothing. But I need somebody that say, God, I need a seed right now. And God bless that seed. Because the next blessing that God, you are releasing to me is not just for me, but it's for your glory. Are you hearing me? You say, God, this blessing that you're releasing in my life is not just for me, but this is for your glory. You say, God, I'm not just selfish, but I need to touch somebody. I need to be a blessing to somebody else's life. The reason why some of you, you live your life in the negative. You ask for bread and God gave you bread. And the people that you are jealous of, they seem like they always have abundance and enough. The only difference is they prayed for a seed. And they planted a seed in the ground and God gave them increase and germination. The Bible speaks about Isaac and the Bible says, and then Isaac planted in the land. In that famine, in the dry land, he had a seed. And God blessed that seed right there. Power tap on your screen is she. I share my testimony every day when I was in a small space. I didn't ask God for an apartment just so I can look pretty in the apartment. I asked God for a seed. I said, God, if you give me this place and I'm going to glorify you with this blessing. Tap on your screen. Are you hearing me? Are you asking God for a vision? Are you asking God for a dream? Are you asking God for direction? Do you have something in your hands? you need God to bless I'm telling you I always share my testimony when I every time I pray I pray for something from God it's not for my selfish reasons because if God's glory is not seen in my life then I'm not doing nothing somebody tap on your screen and share there's some of you watching me right now. You just want God to give you a car so people can see you. What profit do you have in people seeing you and God not seeing you? What profit do you have being recognized by men but God does not see you? 
Jesus stayed on his knees in the garden of Gethsemane and he prayed seeking recognition from the father I'm telling you when I was prophesied that I was going to buy a car I dropped the seed are you hearing me and I spoke to God and said God if you give me this car I'm going to give it back to the kingdom tap on your screen and she I say, I'm going to give it back to the kingdom. And that's what I did. Tap on your screen, is she? There is a time I prayed. I said, God, you know what? Maybe God, you should bless me with a car. So that when I do my prayers, I'll do my prayers in the car. So nobody will complain. And God say, because you asked for a seed. I'll give you more than just that. So instead of just having an, a car to pray with, not only did God bless me with the car, but we also got a place and also a bigger place. I'm saying this to somebody watching me right now. You are desperate and you don't even know exactly what you need. The God say, I'm looking for somebody. That's what he says in his word. He gives seed to the sower and food to the eater. Tap on your screen and shape. I will tap on your screen and shape. Now may he who supplies the seed to the sower. Second Corinthians 9 verse number 10. He will supply seed to the sower and bread for food to to the eater he will supply and multiply your seeds for sowing and increase and they have this for your righteousness God bless you those who listen the seed as well you will multiply your, your seeds sown and increase the fruits of your righteousness some of you, God wants to bless you, but he does not see where to bless you. Are you hearing me? That prayer that you pray today, it's a seed in the ground. Where God is going to release increase and multiplication. I'm saying this to everybody that has ever raised a seed in any ministry that you've sown. That God is releasing multiplication and supernatural increase i'm here to let you know that god said there shall be glory after this you did not work and you did not labor in vain increase is coming come with somebody receiving the name of jesus i pray for everybody watching me right now you have your documents submitted you say god i'm not just sitting on my hands i'm not just sitting on my hands I'm looking for jobs. I'm looking for money to start a business. I'm looking for capital. I'm not just sitting on my hands. God release increase in my hands. I speak in the name of Jesus. Let there be immediate approval. Anything that you have sown into the ground, I speak right now. The documents submitted, the application submitted, the funding that you are waiting for. The loans that you're waiting for, I declare approval. In Jesus' name, can somebody receive it right now? Come and tap in the comment section, I receive. Come and somebody tap in the comment section, I receive it. I receive it in Jesus' name. You may not understand why God allowed some things to happen in your life. But I need you to know that it was necessary.
summit to know that it had to happen. You had to go through that refining process where God is bringing out the best from inside of you. Are you hearing me? I was reading when Job said, you know the past that I take. Come and tap on your screen and share. Some of you don't even understand that you were going through the refining process. You had to go through the refining process. God had to break you to bring out the best out of you. It was a process. Are you hearing me? It was a process. It was a refining process. Come on, power tap on your spinach here. It was nothing but a process, a refining process. Where God says, I had to break you so I can bring out the best that was hidden inside of you. Excuse me for a moment. He says, I had to break you so I can bring out the best that you didn't even know you carried. Come on, summer tap on your screen and she. It was a refining process where God is working on you, God is processing you, where God is breaking you. Am I speaking to somebody right now? When Jesus finds himself in the wilderness, he might not even have understood the, the assignment and why it was necessary, but he had to go through that process. Come on, can we get some fireworks as we celebrate God tonight? And I'm here to let you know that God said, they shall be glory after this you didn't even know how it was going to happen but God had to make it happen he's saying there shall be glory after this some of you the only question that you know how to ask God is God but why 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 listen it was necessary it was necessary. You did not allow yourself to be in that situation, but God allowed you to be in that situation. And growth is necessary. Expansion is necessary. Increase is necessary. Come on, somebody receive it in the name of Jesus. Has anybody been blessed tonight? Thank you, Jesus. And those releasing the gifts and the seeds tonight, let it be your declaration, victory. That's what we are declaring tonight, victory. Because that's what God is released in our lives, victory over every power of the enemy. Thank you, Jesus. Come with somebody, if you can celebrate God with me tonight and receive victory. He said the powers of the enemy are broken nothing shall by all means harm you God bless you those who listen to the gifts he said nothing that very thing that you thought was going to break you God says it will not break you that very thing that feels like an accident that very thing that feels like a mistake in your life God says it will not break you he says nothing shall by all means hurt you when God says nothing, he means nothing. Are you hearing me? When God says nothing, he means nothing and he means nobody. Come on, can we get some fireworks as we celebrate God tonight? Thank you, Jesus. He had to go through the cross. He had to go through the pain so you and I can celebrate and rejoice right now. Are you hearing me? How, how, much, how, how much can you celebrate God tonight? He had to go through so much just for you and I. He laid down his life. Do you know the meaning of that? So to give up your life. To say, God, yes, I'm going to do this. That is our God for you. He's a great and he's a merciful God. Are you hearing me? 
So when he prayed, he prayed like he knew who he was fighting for. When he prayed, he knew exactly that he, he had to fight for you. I'm telling you that God has served you for such a time as this. God is going to bless you for such a time as this so you can speak of his goodness and his glory to nations upon nations. The enemy was after him because he knew that this one was anointed for us all. And I just said the Lord said that declare resurrection. As above said the same power that raised Christ from the dead shall he not re rejuvenate thank you jesus the some of you god is quickening you in the spirit that same power that raised him on the cross is working in your life that same power in that same anointing is working in your business it's working in your body to yell deliver restore and change Come on, somebody receiving the name of Jesus. Did we get some fireworks tonight? Come on, celebrate God with me tonight. Now we need to get a new light. Now we need to get a new light. My light just broke today. I stood up right there, put up the setup, and it broke. So we, we need to get we need to get new lighting. <laughs> we need to get new lighting. Where are the partners? We need to get new light. And the way that it broke is not a way that I can get another stand or something. Come and celebrate God with me tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The devil tried to bring destruction at the beginning. Anybody been blessed tonight? The enemy tried to do so much to delay the service. But I know that it was necessary for us to be here tonight. Thank you, Jesus. So you see the way it, it broke, like there is no way you can put it back. I need you to know that God was intentional with what he wanted to do tonight. God is intentional when it comes to blessing you. God is intentional when it comes to your destiny. Are you hearing me? I could have just said, oh, you know what? The light is broken. Let me go. The same thing with the word that I was ministering today. That sometimes when things break down in your life, it's not a sign that you have to quit or give up. It's a sign that you got to push even more. Are you hearing me? When things break down in your life, it's a sign that there is something that the enemy wants to break down in your life. So you need to push even more. Can we get some fireworks? I've not seen some fireworks on TikTok. And if you have not followed, please make sure you press on the follow button. And those releasing the gifts and those raising the seed, the ketchup is right there. And we are naming our seed victory tonight. That's it. We are naming our seed victory tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Come and tap on your spinach. God bless you, Abe. We are naming our seed victory. Because that's what it's all, that's what the season is all about. It's not just about the cross, but it's about the victory. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, has anybody been blessed tonight? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Look at that. God bless you. The Lion of Judah has roared. God bless you, Christy. I'm going to call you Christy. Come and celebrate God. Don't be jealous. That's a beautiful gift right there. God bless you. The cash up is there and the PayPal is PSC Ever Joy for those that want to give. London X, they say, I'm blessed. I'm blessed first time on, on live by person. And honestly, I skip us every, everyone that says they're preaching because of church hurts <laughs> it was necessary are you hearing me that hurt was necessary it was necessary <laughs> it was necessary because god was refining you god is refining you sometimes god will allow people to betray you and turn on you so he can bring the best from inside of you God bless you for the beautiful fireworks. Are you hearing me? Sometimes it is necessary. 
Some of it, if you were never hurt before, if you were never broken before, you wouldn't be where you are. I'm in South Africa. Somebody's asking. Let me put this one right here. I'm actually being honest. If you were never hurt, you wouldn't be where you are. If you were never betrayed, you wouldn't be where you are. If some people are still in your life right now, you wouldn't be praying the way that you pray. God bless you for the gifts. That's why you need to thank God when you go through some storms in your life. Because it's not, it's not a mistake, but it's a setup. There's some levels of prayer some of you have entered that you could have never entered if you not gone through a certain attack in your life. But we pray not because we fear the devil. We pray because we are desperate for God. We pray because that's what we are born to do. Some of you, if your boyfriend does not reply to your text, you get so angry, so mad, so frustrated. You already think of the worst. Can you imagine how God feels when you get, when you, when you give him a silent treatment? It's not just about the enemy, but about God. We build and strengthen it, our relationship with God. Are you hearing me? So for those releasing the offerings and the seeds for this weekend, we're raising our seed of victory. That's it, victory. In the next three days until Monday, Monday we are fasting. Are you hearing me? What is the day on Monday? What is the day on Monday? God bless you, those watching for the first time. And please make sure you subscribe as well. I don't know what happened. Oh, okay. Every time my phone is like two, every time my phone is like, after like two hours, 30 minutes, it, it almost gets off. So on Monday, we are fasting. It's actually the first of April, is it? Is it, is it the second? It's the first. Monday is going to be the first. It's going to be the first of April. So on Monday, we're going to be, we, we're going to be fasting. How many of you are joining in the fasting from 8 a.m. until 3 p.m.? God bless you for the gifts. Even if you're going to your own church, we're still fasting. I'm sorry for those that had other plans, but I need you to pray and fast with me. It, it's actually what we always do every beginning of the month. I need you to join in this prayer and fasting because you need victory in your life. And our month of April is going to be our month of celebration. It's only one day. So if you can do a dry fasting or water fasting, but if you're on medication and if you're pregnant, you can just join us in prayer, not fasting. April has to be our month of celebration. April has to be a month where God restores everything that was lost in the, that was lost in the process of your life. Everything that was lost from your childhood, God is releasing restoration and there shall be celebration. Are you hearing me? There shall be restoration and celebration. Jesus might have gone through the grave, but at the end of the day, he rose up. I need somebody that is believing God for a new season of elevation, for a new season of acceleration, yes? I do go live. I try to go live every day. But because in South Africa, we have something that is called load shedding. Sometimes I might miss a day. But please make sure that you turn on your notifications. Are you hearing me? This is to be your season of celebration. This is to be your season of elevation. Nothing but God's grace has to be seen in your life. Are you hearing me? Some of you don't even understand that God has already prepared something ahead of your life. After the test, there has to be a testimony. I'm getting ready to announce every name in the comment section. I'm getting ready to announce your names. Victory and celebration is your portion. I'm getting ready to announce your names. Thank you, Jesus. In the presence of your enemies, God is blessing you.
every exam has an end day. Are you hearing me? Can you imagine you go through four years of studying maybe a certain subject and the exam is only two hours, but those two hours feel so, so much painful. Are you there? Those few hours that you sit for that exam, it feels like it's, it's been a whole lifetime. Some of you don't even understand that God was training you for a time like this. God has been preparing you to sit into the season and come out, like Job says, as pure as gold. It will not last forever. How many of you were here the last service that we had? It seems that like God is a word for somebody in the season. He said it won't be long. Somebody tap on your screen and she. And drop your names in the comment section. Lada bahasa da bahaya. Mandele de bosaya. Zatele beke da bahaso. Mazuka badosa libra kahasa. Yanda kabadosa ida balahasa. I stretch my hands right now. I speak a blessing over every name that is mentioned. I speak in the name of Jesus. God's blessings upon your names. I speak in the name of Jesus that everything that God has for you, let it be released quickly in the name of Jesus. I speak in the name of Jesus that your name is being mentioned in rooms of influence. Your name is being mentioned in high places. I speak right now in the name of Jesus over every name that is mentioned. The doors are opening up for you in the name of Jesus. Extreme doors of increase are breaking open. Let the Messiah, man, let the Messiah in the name of Jesus. I speak right now in the name of Jesus. The God is releasing greatness upon your name. I speak in the name of Jesus that your name is attracting favor. Your name is attracting blessings. Your name is attracting good things in the name of Jesus. I pray right now and I declare. Anybody that mentioned your name in the wrong places. Anybody that carried your names and placed them on evil altars. Anybody that put a hex and a spell over your name. I speak. Let the curse break in the name of Jesus. La Rabahasa. Yanda Rebosaya. Any place where they wrote down your names, any gathering and any meeting place where they are chanting your names, any demonic enchantment that is being made upon your names, any evil enchantment, let the kosa, yasuta payakosa. In the name of Jesus, I declare it is broken. As I anoint your names, I anoint my name. I anoint my children's names. Let the glory of God be released upon our names. I'm hearing God say that as you pray right now. Any image that is created in the kingdom of darkness to represent you and your marriage, you and your husband, you and your children, as you mention your name right now, if there is any image, Ayakuda Basata, representing you on evil altars if there is any idol that carries your name if there is any idol that is named after your husband if there is any idol that is named upon your children as i pray right now i declare it breaks in jesus name i call back every blessing that was stolen from your names Don't you know that there is a blessing that God has spoken upon your names? There is a blessing that God has spoken upon your head and that blessing is missing. Power tap on your screen is here. There is a blessing. Do you know that there is a time that I did not even like my name? My name ever joy. Excuse me. 
There is a term I didn't even like my name. I wish I was called somebody else or something else. Why? Because my name is ever joy. So the first battle that I always fight is the enemy stealing my joy. Are you hearing me? Because that blessing, that name is a blessing on its own. So the enemy would try by all means to take the gift and the blessing upon the name. That's why some of it, your names are called blessing, but you see no blessings in your life. I speak right now in the name of Jesus that any blessing that the enemy has taken up all from your names, if there is glory that was taken upon your names, if there is favor that was taken upon your names, I declare right now, let it be restored in the name of Jesus. And there is a man called Jabez. And the Bible said they called him Jabez because he was born in pain. The some of it, there is something about your name that signifies pain. There is something about your name that reminds you of the dead. There is something about your name that opens the wrong doors in your life. There is something about the name that people call you that is attracted to rejection, that is attract, attracted to shame. There is something about your name that is always rejection. But the Bible said, Job has prayed. And he said, God, that you bless me and enlarge my territory. I speak in the name of Jesus. I don't care what they saved upon your name, I don't care the names that you were given. I don't care the titles you're given, but I declare right now, God, God's blessings upon your names. God is changing your name. God is changing your titles. Come on, you got to receive it right now. You're saying my name is greatness. My name is favor. Thank you, Jesus. My name is blessed. I pray the blessings of God over your life. It will be impossible for you to fail. With the blessing that God is releasing upon your life. It will be impossible for you to suffer. God is breaking boundaries. And God is removing limitation from your life. Good things are coming your way. Good things and big things are coming your way. Come and receive it. In the name of Jesus. Now. Promotion is now. Elevation is now. Increase is now. Marriage or settlement is now. You have been praying for this blessing. You have been waiting for this blessing. You have been waiting for this opportunity. And God says it's coming to pass right now. Listen, if you're watching me on TikTok, please make sure you click on the subscription button on YouTube. And those on YouTube, please remember to go follow me on TikTok. I have only one TikTok account. It is 1.1 million followers. And I have Facebook, it has over 100,000 followers as well. The same with Instagram. Come and receive it right now. I'll celebrate it today because we, I saved how many followers? How many followers did I say on TikTok? <laughs> it's actually 1.2 million followers. I'll celebrate it today because God keeps on releasing increase and advancement. So on TikTok is 1.2 million followers. So everybody watching me on TikTok, if you can subscribe on YouTube, then we can have up to 5,000 subscribers. Can we do that real quickly? There is someone watching me right now. You feel a step in pain on your, on your left side of your hands. God bless you. Help me celebrate God. There's somebody watching me right now. You feel pain. God bless you, Apostle. Celebrate God with me. Come on, you got to sow into fertile ground. I wish I could subscribe twice. Wow. <laughs> you got to sow into fertile ground. 
I told you guys that when I started TikTok, there is one one woman of God that I followed. When she when she hit a million followers, I went to raise I release a seed. I don't know about you. You don't even. Some of you say I don't believe in seeds. Power tap on your screen. We're almost a million likes right there on TikTok. Power tap on your screen. You know, I, I don't believe in seeds, or I don't believe, or don't. But some of us believe in sowing seeds. I believe into tapping into somebody that he has it. She didn't even ask for a seed, but I went and sowed in her life. I remember she she cried and said, "Woman of God, you sowed a seed." I said, "Yes." I'm tapping into the same dimension. Are you hearing me? And see what God did in just one year. There's somebody feeling pain right here where I'm putting my hand. You feel so much pain. It's even difficult for you to move your arm. Thank you, Jesus. If you're watching me on YouTube and you want to give your seed for today's word, your seed of victory. Thank you, Jesus. Your seed of victory. Go ahead and release your seed. The PayPal is PSC Ever Joy. And the cash ship is right there on the profile if you can see it. If, as I'm moving my, my shoulder right now, you got so much pain. You can't even do what I'm doing right now. I speak yelling in the name of Jesus. I speak yelling in the name of Jesus right now. Right now. Let the pain leave. Let the pain leave in the name of Jesus. Let the pain leave right now in the name of Jesus. Zuka la bahasa, yande de bosata li bahasa. Mazuka de la bahanta, come some receive the healing right now. The yoke of pain is broken in the name of Jesus. There is a name called mercy. There is a lady called mercy. I'm seeing God releasing marital settlement. Mercy, I'm seeing God releasing. The funny thing is, as I'm praying, the pain is moving down to your hand. The pain is leaving. The pain is leaving right now in the name of Jesus. There is a lady called Mercy. The enemy is trying to release marital frustration. Where are you watching from, woman of God? Because I'm seeing God releasing marital breakthrough in your life. And I'm hearing God say that this is your season of celebration. He said that this is your season where you begin to dance. Thank you, Jesus. La Zuta Bayhasa. Come on, somebody, power tap on your screen. Let's get to a million likes. We are now at 820. God is releasing marriage of settlement and joy. He said the tears that you have cried is enough. I'm seeing frustration. You know, there is a time where you get desperate until you get frustrated. Desperation is different from frustration because when you get frustration, you are now angry. But God said that this is your season of celebration and you will dance. Are you hearing me, woman of God? He said you will cry no more. He said you will cry no more. I'm seeing one, two, twice. I'm seeing the enemy trying to frustrate you twice to the extent that you, you've been so discouraged. That's what I'm hearing in my spirit. You've been so discouraged, but I'm hearing God say that I will settle you for all the tears that you cried, all the pain that you had to enjoy, you and your children. God say, I will settle you. That says the spirit of the living God. Power tap on your screen is here. Lera Basaya, Bessie Chibwe, where are you connecting from Bessie? Bessie Chibwe, where are you connected? I saw two things in the spirit. I'm seeing God releasing all you upon your hands. The first thing I saw was ministry. And the second thing I saw was business, business, business. Blessed Chibwe, where are you connected from? God is going to use you mightily. God is releasing great impact upon your life, even upon your family and your household. Power tap on your screen is here. God bless you, those who are listening the gifts. Selungile, 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 selungile. God bless you, selungile. Thank you, Jesus. Selungile, God said, prepare yourself for a move. Get ready for a move. Get ready for a move. I see God relocating you, woman of God. You just sent your gifts right there. I see God relocating you. Maruda Bahasa. I see God opening international doors for you, woman of God. And I saw, God, I saw God blessing your voice. Selungile. I don't know what you do, woman of God, but I'm seeing you speaking in front of multitudes. I'm seeing you speaking in front of multitudes. And God said that you have a story and you have a testimony that you will share with multitudes. And God said, I'm going to use you to touch so many young women. Labra Suta Bahasa. Yedebeke Adosa Labra let me just speak a blessing on, let me just speak a blessing over, let me speak a blessing over those who are listening to gifts. 
they took me to Sangoma today. Why? What happened? Why would you go there? Why would you follow them? Let me just speak a blessing to everybody releasing the gifts tonight in the name of Jesus. My son died and I ask God to take away my pain. I pray that the Holy Spirit comforts you today in the name of Jesus. I pray that the Holy Spirit comforts you and that God takes away the pain in the name of Jesus in the place of pain. But God, may God give you a worship. May God give you a reason to worship and celebrate in Jesus name. Come on, can we get some fireworks as we celebrate God tonight? Lezuta balahasa iande de de bosaya. Immaculate, are you a worshiper? Immaculate, are you a worshiper? Are you a worshiper and an intercessor? I'm seeing you as a vessel in the kingdom. The sum of you, you need to understand that un until you start serving in the kingdom of God, until you start dedicating your whole life to God, things will remain the same in your life. Not yet, you're not a worshiper. You need to serve in the house of God. Immaculate. There is a very st strong prophetic mentor upon your life. God is even going to use you in dreams. It's even happening right now. You see dreams and some things come to pass. And the enemy is trying to fight your dreams. Because that is where your blessing and your breakthrough is. God is going to use your mighty little woman of God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And I'm seeing you touching your heart. God in your heart is protecting your heart because of so much pain. You're afraid of pain. But hear what God is going to do in your life. He said that I'm going to heal you and restore you. No more anxiety, no more depression, no more confusion, no more trauma. Everything that happened, God said it happened for a reason in your life. But this is your season where God changes you, where God promotes you and uses you mightily. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you, those who listen the gifts. Some of you, you need to know that your life is serving the kingdom of God. Your life is in the house of God. You serving God is not, it is not an accident. It's who you are. It's what you've been born to do. It's what you've been created to do. Please make sure you remember to subscribe as well. Are you hearing me? Zula Bayatalahasa. Lede Belakusa. There's somebody watching me right now. There's somebody watching me right now. I'm seeing you have a problem with your stomach. You have a problem with your stomach. It's always bloating. Your stomach is always bloated. Your stomach is, is bloated. It's, it gets big. There's a time you wake up in the morning. You didn't even eat anything, but your stomach is big. Now I speak deliverance. I speak deliverance right now in the name of Jesus. Come on. Power tap on your screen. I'm not seeing you guys stepping on your screen. Let's get to 1 million likes. We can do it tonight. I speak yelling and deliverance right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Anything that is inside of your body illegally, it leaves now. Anything planted in your body illegally, it leaves now in the name of Jesus. Right now. You're going to feel... A release like air coming out of your stomach. It leaves right now in the name of Jesus. Rita. There's somebody by the name Rita. God is restoring you, Rita. Rita, can you hear me? Restoration is coming to your life. Restoration is coming to your life. There is a name to not tender. God bless you for the roses. God bless you for those releasing the gifts. There is a name to not tender. Greatness is your portion. I'm seeing royalty. I'm seeing a crown of royalty to not tender. I don't know where you are right now, but I'm seeing a crown of greatness and royalty. And hear me in the Holy Ghost. God say, I will bless you, but I'm seeing an international door opening. Are you hearing me to not end? I don't know where you are right now, but God says, I'm, I will release greatness upon your life. But just like Abraham, I'm moving you. Just like Abraham, I'm separating you from your home country, from your land, from your father's house. I'm separating you to a land where I'll bless you. So says the spirit of the living God. I pray for Abel. There is a name called Abel. I pray for Abel. I'm hearing accusation and lies. I'm hearing accusation in lies. 
accusation and lies and betrayal. Abel. I'm hearing God say that I'm fighting your battles. Power tap on your screen and say, God is fighting your battles. Anything that is being orchestrated against you, anything that is being planned against you behind your back, may God rise and fight for you in the name of Jesus. I pray the same for everybody watching me right now. There is so much accusation against you. There are so many lies being told about you. God bless you, Mother Dan. So much accusations, so much lies that are being told on you. I pray right now, may God vindicate you. May God fight your enemies on your behalf in the name of Jesus. Zuka la bahaso. Yande de bosaya raso tabaha. La da bakusa. Some of you even losing jobs. There's somebody watching me right now. Your marriage is in trouble because of accusation. Your marriage is in trouble because of accusation. Zeta la bakahaso. Your marriage is in trouble because of accusation. Where are you? I, I, need, I need to pray for you right now. I pray that God fights your better. Listen, I want to share this testimony with you guys. There is something that happened some time back when I was married before. I remember somebody called my phone, right? I'm saying this for those in marriages, you're fighting accusation. Power tap on your screen and she. I remember somebody called on my phone and this number was on private. I want you to see how the enemy will try to intervene to bring separation in your marriage. The person that called was a private number. So, I, I tried to answer the phone. So on sliding, it went the opposite side and the call hung up. And mind you, my lines of all, my numbers have always been public. My lines have always been public. This is a prayer line that everybody calls on. In that time, I remember being in an argument. Somebody is, you know, you, you know when you're serving God, it's not easy being married to some people that don't understand your calling. I remember this person saying, who called you? Call that person right now. And I'm like, but this is a prayer line. Who do you think would have called me? My line is on Facebook. My line is everywhere else. There's some of you watching me right now. Had, it, 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 it did not been somebody calling for prayer line. I don't know what could have happened. Accusation. It was actually a lady saying, my atom finished. And I want you to pray for my son. How many of you watching me right now? There is something that happened and your marriage is in trouble. You looked at somebody, you said hi. Trouble began. Tap on your screen and shape. And click on the subscription button. Accusation. There's some people when they see you, they don't like you. They lie on you. I pray that God rises tonight and that he fights your battles in the name of Jesus. I pray that God contends with your enemies. I pray that God silences the voices of your enemy in the name of Jesus. May God expose every voice behind your struggle. May God expose every hand behind your struggle. Are you hearing me? Somebody tap on your screen is here. You say, God, fight my battles. Tap on your screen is here. Do I have some moderators in the house? Do I have some moderators in the house? Power tap on your screen is here. I'm passionate about this because. I know what it feels like to lose something that you love so dearly. The job that you're working, you love it so much, you can't afford to be. Let down because of one lie. Power tap on your screen and share. May God intervene at your workplace now. 
may God intervene in your marriage right now and may he expose any agenda that the enemy has concerning your life I'm seeing the name Trisha 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 thank you Holy Spirit your name is Patricia but you call yourself Trisha Patricia, but you call yourself Trisha. You love calling yourself Trisha. There is something that you saw in the dream. Until now, you're confused. Patricia, thank you, Jesus. There is something that you saw in the dream, and now you're confused. And it's so funny because God showed you a face of somebody. God exposed an enemy in your dreams and now you're confused. Mm. I'm waiting for that Trisha. Where are you, Trisha? Trisha. God is opening your eyes. God is opening your eyes. And the reason why you feel like things have been so difficult right now, financially, I'm seeing a strain on your finances. My sister is Patricia. She calls herself Patricia. May God open up her finances. Because this Patricia that I'm talking about, I'm seeing, I'm seeing a battle in the finances. Things have been tied up. Things have been so tied up. But I pray right now in the name of Jesus that God is saying I'm reversing every curse that was spoken upon your finances. Angeline, I pray for your sister as well. May God open up a dose in the name of Jesus. Angeline, who is working in the medical field? Who is working in the medical, medical field or who was working in the medical field? Thank you, Jesus. Angeline, because I'm seeing God say there is increase that I'm pouring into your hands. There is increase that God is pouring into your hands. Thank you, Jesus. Three. Angeline, your sister passed away. I'm sorry for your loss. Your sister, she's the one that is working in the medical field. Because you're connected right now. Anything that the enemy hindered from your sister, may God release it in your hands. Because I'm seeing somebody in the medical field. I'm sorry for your loss. I pray right now in the name of Jesus that everything that the enemy had stolen from your hands, may God release it in the name of Jesus. I speak the same over that treasure on TikTok. May God release resurrection over your finances right now. There is so much that the enemy took away from your sister. There is so much that the enemy took away from your sister. She's somebody who had a very great heart and a kind heart. May her soul rest in peace. I pray that God releases a blessing in your hands that you'll be able to recover. You know, the Bible says that Isaac and went and began to redig the wells of his father. Some of you watching me right now, there's some people when they died in your family, it seems like it was the end of the blessing. God bless you for the gifts. Are you hearing me? How many of you lost people that you thought were great in your family? It seems like they died with the blessing. I'm here to let somebody know tonight that God said that. Thank you, Jesus. He said that this is a season where God is releasing restoration. Thank you, Jesus. But what's up on your screen is here? He said that this is your season where everything is being released and restored back into your hands. Each one, one at a time. Are you hearing me? One at a time. 
one at a time. And the Bible said, Genesis 26, verse number 18. And Isaac reopened the wells of his father. Isaac dug again the wells of water that had been dug in the days of Abraham, his father, which the Philistines had stopped after the death of Abraham. But what's up on your screen is here. After Abraham died, they closed up the wells. God bless you for the gifts. The sum of you watching me right now seems like the end of the end of certain relationships or the end of your gifts. When some people left your life, they didn't just leave, but they took a part of you. But God says, I'm reopening right now. He had to reopen the wells so they could get back access to that water. I'm hearing God say that I'm restoring your vision. God is restoring everything that the enemy has closed down and shut down in the name of Jesus. Everything is coming back. Everything opens up right now. Let your life open up. Let your dreams open up in the name of Jesus. Come with somebody receiving the name of Jesus. You say, I claim it back. Everything that my father was not able to achieve, I will achieve. Everything my siblings were not able to achieve, I will achieve. Any door that the enemy had closed, I reopened that door. I reopened that door. I reopened that door. That chapter that the enemy had closed, we opened back that chapter in the name of Jesus. Come on, somebody receiving the name of Jesus. Listen, I'm, my phone is not charging. I'm afraid it will go off. We can wait to get on YouTube. Listen up, I want to give an opportunity. How many of you want to support me? We need to get a new light. We need to get a new light. What happened today? I don't even like it. It was a bit of distraction. I was affected. I was affected. How many of you want to support me to get light in? As soon as tomorrow. As soon as today. We need to do it today. <laughs> we need to do it today. <laughs> The funny part is I don't have anybody to shout to, to shout it. You know, when you are in church, everything is blamed on the protocol. <laughs> How can I get this to you? Send me an email. Send me an email. PST at the joy address. Let, let me let me drop the email. How many of you want to support? The cash is right there, and the PayPal is PST ever joy. And if you are in South Africa, you're welcome to support as well. Send me a message. We need to get better lighting. <laughs> I wanted to cry. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. How many of you were, were there at the beginning when it happened? How many of you were here at the beginning when it happened? <laughs> we are at 1 million likes. Celebrate God with for me. Come on, somebody celebrate God celebrate God with me today we reach 1 million likes on TikTok if you're on YouTube make sure that you go follow us on TikTok as well come on can we get some fireworks as we celebrate God tonight thank you Jesus I, I wanted to cry <laughs> I wanted to cry I was like devil you're crazy you're crazy this is not it this is not the time thank you Jesus this is not the time Kazuta Labahasa it just broke can you imagine it just broke we need we need we need different light and not just a ring light don't you guys so we are bigger than a ring light we need something bigger than just an ordinary ring light how many of you are supporting let's get it today let's get it tonight i need to go get it tomorrow For those in South Africa, that's where you sold. That's where you support. Because those that send with PayPal or Cash App, you know, PayPal takes a couple of days. And we don't, have, we don't have days. We don't have a couple of days. We need it today. We need today. We need to go get it today. So PayPal takes, takes, takes some days. So we, 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 need, we need to get it sorted up today. I know we can do it. 
with your rose, with your gifts, you're actually helping to support the work of the ministry. Very soon, we're going to be having you know, techni 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 technical teams and people that will be in charge of this. How many of you are going to be there with me? Thank you, Jesus. That's why I appreciate all my moderators. You know, sometimes you can't do, you can't do everything by yourself. That's why I need you guys. I need the protocol. I need people working in the media. I need people helping because it's a lot. Thank you, Jesus. But I'm glad that, you know, everything worked out well today. That I know that there is something that God has done today that the enemy wanted to, to block. How many of you believe the same? How, how many of you have been delivered? Thank you, Jesus. You say, I know God has delivered me. I know that God has restored the power in my life. I can feel it in my bones. You say, I can feel the power inside of my bones. Thank you, Jesus. If you're supporting, just let me know that you are supporting with the light and as well. If you want to partner, this is your opportunity to partner with the ministry. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I, I, I need you to understand that everything that you do for the work of God is a seed, you know. That's how, that I, that's how I know how to sow into God's kingdom. Are you there? It doesn't make sense that we look pretty and fancy and but the work of God is not moving properly. Are you there? Sometimes I actually feel so shy. Like, how can I put on makeup? How can I put on lashes? And the quality is bad. The network is dropping. The devil is a liar. Some of you, God has ordained you to be partners in ministries. That's your calling. That's how you sow. With your giving, with your commitment. I was speaking to my husband today and I told him, like, I feel like... My, my whole life has been working in God's kingdom. From cleaning the floors to singing in the praise team, to being in the worship team, to being a protocol. You know, when you're a protocol to a prophet, you're in usher. You don't just usher in church. You also work behind the scene. Are you hearing me? Never take this moment for granted. Never take this time of service for granted. I know some of you watching me right now, you're like, oh, but when am I going to be promoted? When am I going to be, be given a title? Humility will allow you to serve God even without a title. Are you hearing me? Some of you watching me right now, the reason why you're not even ministering God's word, you're waiting for a title. Should I call myself a prophet? Should I call myself an, an evangelist? Your humility goes beyond waiting for a title. God is looking for you to lay a seed in the ground. You believe in God for a harvest. He's looking for your seed. Where can I bless you? Some of you don't even understand that the reason why the rich will, will keep on being rich is because when they are giving you, they're not just giving you, but according to them, they're planting a seed. They are sowing a seed. Are you there? Receiving is, is a good thing, but you got to be careful. There's some people, when they're giving you, they're getting access into what you have. Because you can't use it, they take it away from you. How many of you have been blessed or not? And how many of you are releasing the seed? I don't want to anoint your hands. This weekend, if you, if you have ever given, if you have never given before, start now. Find anything that you can give to God. Drop a seed in this ground, your seed of victory. Are you hearing me?
If you have never been tight, then start now. Start now. So when God is looking to bless, he sees your seed in the ground. Are you here? You say, God, I'm believing you for big things. I'm waiting for the glory that is coming after this battle. Listen up. If you're watching on YouTube, if you're watching on TikTok, I want to see you on YouTube right now. If you have not subscribed, go and subscribe right now. The name is BSC Everjoy. Zula Bahasa. Mandele de Bosaya. Are you hearing me? There is a level when you give big because you believe in God for big. There is a dimension in your life when you're so big. When you step out of your comfort zone because you're believing God for big things. The Bible says, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. When you serve God, don't hold back. Are you hearing me? When you do things for God, don't hold back. Don't hold back. <laughs> oh, it's up on your skin, is she? Don't hold back. Are you there? When you are given, some of you are always holding back. It's nice when the word is being preached, but when it comes to sowing and giving, you hold back. Oh, they're always after our money. Keep your money. Keep your money. You know, there is somebody that was asking me about tithing, and I said, I'll never stop tithing. If all churches close down where I'm supposed to church to sow, if, if our ministry closed down, send me a message. If you need the account number. I say to myself, I'm going to collect all my 10% and put it in my Bible. If God says tithing does not exist, then I'll enjoy it then. But as of now, I'm going to put it aside. There's some of you that sting your spirit inside of you. Makes you look for preachers that go against tithing. That spirit of, of poverty that is hiding inside of you makes you look for people that are against giving. Stop sending your number in the comment section. Some of you don't even, I, I don't even understand you. You write to me and say, send me your, your WhatsApp number so you can harass me. Some of you people, you don't chat with people, but you, it, 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 it goes to a level of harassment. It goes to a level of harassment. You ask me if, so I can give you, your, you give me your, your number so I can add you on WhatsApp so you can harass me. I'm telling you very soon I will remove my numbers because some people they will harass you. Yes, it says Rosie Joseph. Some people will come and attack you and why are you not answering me? Why are you not calling? Sometimes you'll be driving. I'm worshiping. I love worshiping most of the times. And when we're driving and out and about, and that's what somebody says, talk to me now. I like you. I love you. <laughs> Yeah. I like you. I love you. I want to marry you. <laughs> Tell me more about yourself. <laughs> I'm scared of you guys. You are you harassing me. You harass me. Sometimes, you know, you get to a level that you get tired of saying, I'm married. I'm, I'm a husband. Sometimes I'll be like, you know, my husband and I are praying for you. But sometimes it's re it reaches a level where I'm like, yeah. I like you so much. I love you. I can do long distance relationship. <laughs> I'm, I'm not asking you for a relationship. I, I'm fine with the long distance relationship. What about me? <laughs> I don't want you. I don't <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. You guys. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. 
I love you. Ah, oh, I, lo I love you so much. I love you so much. <laughs> Do you love me or you just love the prayer or you just want a woman that you just back you up in prayer? I can do a long distance. You, you see the audacity. I can do a long distance relationship. God bless you for the golden coins. And sometimes I always show my husband, like, you see this? You see this? <laughs> and he'll just be laughing. He'll just be laughing. There's another one. I wish I, I, wish I had uh, a TikTok on another platform. I'll, I'll show you guys. I love you so much. I like you. I like your what? <laughs> So sometimes I get afraid when, when it comes to what's up and everything. You guys, let me celebrate today. My, my daughter turned seven today. Help me celebrate God for today. Help me celebrate God for her life. Help me celebrate God for her life. It's said that I was not able to be there with her. So if you want to send her some blessings, you can spoil her. The same way you guys, you treat Zane, you got to treat, treat her as well. <laughs> her name is Anika. Her name is Anika, which means God is gracious. So help me celebrate her. Help me celebrate her. So, and next month is going to be my son's birthday. I'm going to be a mom to somebody with double digits. That is a blessing. That is a blessing. Celebrate her with me. Come and show her some love. Show her some love. Show her some love. I want to hear you guys send. Can you give us the address so we can send the gifts? I want you to feel loved as well. Thank you, Jesus. You're married more than one time. I don't know. You tell me. I don't know. You tell me. Was I married before? Was I married two times? I don't know. <laughs> Have I ever been married before? <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Somebody's asking, have you ever been married before? Listen to me. You don't ask me questions. I give you information that I want. That, those are the rules right here. Other than that, no, we don't do that. We don't get to know each other. <laughs> Let's get... <laughs> Let's get to know. No, we don't know each other. Come and celebrate God with me. It, it's an amazing, it's an amazing, you know. It, it's a blessing to be a parent. It's a blessing. It's a blessing. You guys go and subscribe on YouTube. I'm waiting for you right there. It's, it's actually a blessing, you know. And it actually means that we are getting older and older and older as the day goes on. I know I always talk about, uh, you know, the birth of Zayn and all, but I also remember, you know, praying in tongues. <laughs> you know, it was, it was, it was an amazing experience. It was an amazing encounter. I prayed in tongues. <laughs> it has happened twice now. You know, I always share my testimony when I gave birth to Zayn. I said, God, teach me how to deliver babies because i gave birth to zayn at home you know there is a time in your life where you say god teach me i don't know how to do this teach me are you hearing me there's some of you watching me right now i'm talking about subscribing on youtube some of you watching me right now it's not everything that you're born knowing how to do you don't even know how to be a single parent you you're a parent yes but you don't even know how to be that parent that you are so there is a time where you just say, God, teach me how to be a mother. Teach me how to be a leader. This is where I am right now. God, teach me how to do it. Are you hearing me? I remember that time I was living on the second floor and we didn't even have an elevator. We had to go on stairs, you know, and I remember walking down and said, God, praying in tongues and said, God, teach me how to do this. I know I'm weak and I know I'm tired, which is the word for today. You got to be in a place where you say, God, I don't know how to do it. He said, God, if you can take this way, if you are willing, take this cup away from me. But nevertheless, your will, not my will. I pray in the name of Jesus, God's will in your life. God's will in your life. You say, that's all I need right now. Because when I know your way, when I understand your ways and your will, I'll be able to carry the cup with no complaining and no compromise. Come on, somebody receiving the name of Jesus. I 
I speak a blessing over everybody that has released the gifts tonight. Stretch your hands towards the screen. Everybody that's released the gifts and the seed, stretch your hands towards the screen. I speak supernatural increase in the name of Jesus. I speak germination in the name of Jesus. Let God, let God's hand of increase be released upon your life. Abundance in your hands. Financial abundance. I decree and declare resurrection of everything that was dead and failing. I pray that God is anointing your head. And God is restoring wisdom. God is releasing direction in the name of Jesus. Everything that you have sown for tonight, I declare, let it be granted in the name of Jesus. Victory is your portion. Celebration is your portion. Increase is your portion in the name of Jesus. So listen up. If you're watching on you on TikTok, go ahead on YouTube. We're going to close the service on YouTube. I love you guys so much. You've been amazing. You've been so, so amazing tonight. And I'm super excited because I know that, you know, God was in our midst. God was in our midst. So go ahead on YouTube. I want to see you on YouTube right away. Thank you, Jesus. God is turning tables. I'll give him a hug. Come to YouTube, woman of God. I'm waiting for you. I need some moderators for YouTube as well. God is turning tables. God is turning tables. What seems like you're down for. What seems like the end of, a, of your lifetime, the end of your dreams and your vision is the beginning of a new season. Somebody tap on your screen and share. You say that this is the beginning of a new season. Thank you, Jesus. There is a name called Joanna. Somebody that is called Joanna that is writing the name. I pray against witchcraft. There's somebody by the name Joanna. I usually don't like people writing the names. God say pray against witchcraft. Joanna, are you hearing me? I'm seeing so much spells and dark magic I need to switch off that light I'm seeing so much spells and dark magic around you around your family God is breaking those evil curses and spells in the name of Jesus I see you there woman of God God bless you Dan Thank you, Jesus. Dan, I have added you. I think I have added you. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going through that too. Jessica, I pray right now. May God fight for you in the name of Jesus. May God pull down and bring down everything that is working against your life. In the name of Jesus. May God check your surroundings and clean your environment. May God check your surroundings and clear up your environment. Anything that is waiting to bring you down, may God bring it down. Anything that is waiting to destroy you, may God destroy it. Anything that is meant to kill you, that has been assigned to kill you, it will not stand and it will not leave in the name of Jesus. I'm hearing God say, bless eight women that are praying for the fruit of the womb. Anybody believe in God for the fruit of the womb? You don't compromise, but you pray. 
when I'm talking about people believing God for the fruit of the womb. I'm even talking about husbands whose wives are barren. Are you hearing me? Because the Bible says Isaac prayed for Rebecca. I speak right now in the name of Jesus. Fruitfulness. The cycle of miscarriage ends. The cycle of barrenness ends. The cycle of no ovulation ends. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. There shall be no loss in your home. The years that you have waited have come to an end. The time that you have cried is long enough and it ends tonight. May the Lord open up your womb in the name of Jesus. God remove the shame. God remove the shame. Sustain them. Remove doubt. Remove fear. Lord, break every evil war that the enemy has created in the marriages. God, bring that war down in the name of Jesus. Power tap on your screen is here. You said, God, bring that war down. Any barrier that hinders me from conceiving, God bring it down. I'm not praying for furniture fruitfulness. God bless you for the gifts. Fruitfulness in every sector of your life. I come against the spirit of addiction in your marriage, in your husband. May God deliver him in the name of Jesus. Every wall that the enemy is building, any barrier that is blocking and hindering you from receiving what God has ordained for you, I pull it down in the name of Jesus. I rebuke the barrier that is hindering your finances, that is hindering the works of your hands. Let it be broken in the name of Jesus. Lada Bahasa. Zatelebeke la Bahasa. I want us to pray for victory this weekend and even victory for our families and our family members. I need you to understand that when you make a decision to marry somebody and settle with somebody, you don't just take up the kids. You don't just take up the cinema, but you take up their battles. So their battle is now your battle. What is fighting them begins to fight you as well. So as a wife, as a husband, I need you to understand that when we pray and we engage in warfare, you don't separate anybody. Because sometimes the enemy fights your husband in order to get through to you. Sometimes the enemy fights your wife in order to get through to you. So when we enter into warfare, we don't point fingers. You say, God, here we are. And Bob say the two shall become one. So his weakness is your weakness. Why? Because his weakness affects you. Are you hearing me? The battle that is fighting is your battle. Because when he's under attack, you're the one that pays the price. 
You're not better because you don't drink. You're not better because you don't smoke. I'm better than my husband. At least I pray. You're not, you're not better. Why? Because everything that is fighting him is still going to fight you. You say, oh, my husband believes in traditional healers. I don't believe in the same. But what is fighting him fights you. Not only do you live under the same room, roof, but you stay in the same bed. You sleep in the same bed. You share DNA. If you understand what I'm saying. How many of you have seen when, when somebody's taking samples for a DNA test? The scrub dip inside of the mouth. Some of you watching me right now, how many people are you sharing DNA with? I know you're wise enough to understand what I'm saying. So you take up some battles, but I pray right now that may God grant you victory in the name of Jesus. Are you hearing me? I know we have all age groups that watch this live, but I'm also talking to even some young kids, some teens watching me right now, even some young girls, 18, 19, 20. You don't go about kissing people anyhow. You don't do that. I know some of you are afraid of getting pregnant, but being pregnant is not the issue. But tapping onto somebody else's demon, that's the issue. That physical protection cannot protect you from demons and evil spirits. You're afraid of STD, sexually transmitted diseases. What about demons? When you just remember that DNA can be swapped from the mouth. You, you don't go about exchanging DNA with anybody. This holiday, we are having holiday. Some of it's not even about Jesus, not a bit... It's about where you're going to go, what, what you're going to spend time with. You don't just drop your DNA anywhere. You don't do that. You don't do that. The same way you're afraid of SD, STIs, STDs. Tap on your screen, she. Some people carry some, so much, but it's not visible. Protect yourself spiritually. Protect yourself spiritually more than the way you try to protect yourself in the physical. Are you hearing me? Someone can carry a virus and not even look like it. Protect yourself spiritually. Are you hearing me? Some of you are fighting, you know your man is cheating, your husband is cheating. And you just want him to come back so you can just sleep with him. So you feel that you have defeated the girlfriend. But you need to pray. You need to pray for him. You can't be in the midst of a spiritual mess. Power tap on your screen is here. You can't be stuck in the midst of spiritual mess. He's not just cheating. He's not just sleeping with somebody. He's not just spending money. Listen, he is opening portals, stepping into demons and some stuff that will affect your children. Are you hearing me? If you're late, even a man watching me right now, stop it. Stop opening doors that you have no business opening. Stop allowing some things that you have no business allowing in your life. Tap on your screen and share. If you're not followed, press on the follow button and click on the subscription button on YouTube. There is an option where you can join the membership if you're watching on YouTube. And if you want to give on YouTube, there is also an option that you can give super likes or 
something like that in the comment section are you there I said what I said tonight the Bible says he who has ears let him hear guard yourself don't open doors and portals that you don't have business opening mm. I know God is helping somebody right now I've been facing all because of my ex-husband who was leaving a double life you see what I'm saying It's not about fighting the side chick and everything. Fight the spiritual battle that you need to fight. If someone can go, go about and bring HIV, how many more demons are they bringing back home? And you wonder why you don't have no money in the house? Some of you men watching me right now, you love women so much, but you don't know what they carry. You don't know what they carry inside. You don't know their assignments and their agendas. You think, you think you're winning, but you're losing so much. Father, I pray that you protect us tonight. I pray that with the same power that you've released upon our lives, Lord, give them discernment. Give them discernment that they will not fall into the wrong hands. They will not fall into the wrong places. Come and receive it in the name of Jesus. So listen up, God bless you guys. I want to see you on YouTube. I had to say that. I had to say that I felt that word heavily on my spirit and I had to release that God your spirit more than you got your physical because every battle that manifests in this physical starts in the spirit so God bless you guys I love you guys so much thank you for 1.2 million followers and thank you for 1 million likes tonight was a power pack night and I'm so excited that you guys were here with me tonight so God bless you 1.2 shares God bless you for tapping on your screen for sharing for following and for staying in tonight so go ahead and join us on YouTube right now that's where we're gonna close I love you guys so much I want to see you on YouTube God bless you Thank you, Jesus. That was, that was TikTok right there. It was an amazing service that we had. Anybody been blessed tonight? Sorry for the whole light issue. Jamila, I see you. Elizabeth, Abu, God bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Come and just celebrate God with me tonight for the few minutes that we're going to be here. Thank you, Jesus. There's somebody watching me right now. You're believing God for healing. You're believing God for healing. Zula Bahasa. There is a mother that needs healing. There is a mother that needs healing. God is releasing healing right now. You guys on YouTube are so funny. Why don't you, why don't you, why, why don't you interact with me in the comment section? You're so funny. Sometimes I wonder is there, is there volume or not? Because you guys will be silent. You guys will be so silent. Thank you, Jesus. Just let me celebrate God. If you're coming from TikTok, give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up. Thank you, Jesus. I pray for Gillen in the name of Jesus. There is a lady, there is a lady whose mother is sick. I speak Gillen right now. In the name of Jesus. I don't know how I got here, but thank God you're here. I pray for you and your husband, Jamila. May God open doors. May God open doors for you in the name of Jesus. I speak right now that stagnation is broken. Employment is coming quickly in the name of Jesus. Any barrier that the enemy has set against your household is broken in the name of Jesus. Tendai, I pray for your son right now. I speak over your son's development. May God restore him mightily and massively in the name of Jesus 
I pray right now in that decree. May God loosen up his tongue in the name of Jesus. May God loosen up his tongue in the name of Jesus. La braka ya bahaso. Eledeke ya bahasa. Ida balakunda da bahaso. Zedele de bosaye. Come on, somebody tap in and receive it. Come on, tap it and receive it in the name of Jesus. It up and receive in the name of Jesus. Kuda Bahasu. Everything that is mine is coming to me. Everything that is mine is finding its way back to me. Pray for me, Ma. My father is seeing at the latest, and we are not together. My mom is going through a lot. I pray in the name of Jesus. May God fight for you, for your family in the name of Jesus. The spirit of a strange woman. Let it be destroyed in the name of Jesus. The spirit of a strange woman that has been sent and assigned by the enemy to destroy your marriage. I pray in the name of Jesus. Let it be broken and let it be destroyed. In the name of Jesus. I pray for your mother. May God strengthen him in the name of Jesus. May God strengthen your mom in the name of Jesus. Supernatural strength. And divine strength is being released upon your life in the name of Jesus. Restoration over your family in the name of Jesus. May God deliver your husband for your father from his shackles of the enemy. Any poison that was put upon him to control him, I pray that it is broken and uprooted in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. I pray the same for everybody that is in the same situation. My man is very sick. I speak yelling right now over his body. Let the yoke of sickness be broken now in the name of Jesus. I pray for you as a point of contact. Let the yelling notion be released. <laughs> Jesus' name. Yelakuda bahasa. Zatelebeke da bahaso. Come on, somebody just say thank you, Jesus. Just say thank you, Jesus. That's all you got to say tonight as we go. You say, God, I thank you for today. I thank you for all that you have said and all that you have done in my life. I listen up tomorrow. I won't have a time that I'm going to be praying for all your prayer requests. I want to pray for you every prayer request that you have. I want to make time to pray for you and speak into your life. If you have your documents, make sure that you have your documents. If there are pictures, anything that you can use, as a point of contact, anything that you need God to touch urgently, bring it. Let me pray for you. Let me give this opportunity for those that want to give. If you want to give, if you want to sow, the details are pinned right there in the comment section. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Just celebrate God and say, God, thank you. You say, God, with my seed, I'm grateful. With my offering, I'm grateful. Let it just be a Thanksgiving gift. A man is not working and it's been five years. I pray that God opens up his life in the name of Jesus. Whatever curse and witchcraft that is working against his life, I pray that it is broken in the name of Jesus. Let it be broken in the name of Jesus. Zakula bababaka dosa ika bahasa. Thank you, Jesus. Let me also give right here. I can actually give, can I? Let me try to see if it works. Thank you, Jesus. No more unemployment. No more unemployment. I don't know why it's not allowing me to give as well. Thank you, Jesus. I'm believing also, I'm believing God for victory and for big things. Not just small things, but big things. How many of you are believing God for major things? Thank you, Jesus. I don't know what's happening with my phone. Thank you, Jesus. And please make sure you click on the subscription button. If you are yet to subscribe. So listen up. If you don't follow me on TikTok. 
make sure you go follow me on TikTok. So on TikTok, I can actually, you know, put out, if you check on the profile, I can actually put up the time that we'll be able to come on live. Are you there? So we can do that together as well. So you can be able to track on the time that we come on live. You can be able to be alert and to know, you know, that we're about to come on live on, on YouTube. I see there is an option, but I'm not quite familiar with the option yet. So I'm going to make sure that, you know, I figure it out so that you guys know how we can do it as well. In the name of Jesus, Father, I thank you for tonight. I thank you for your mercy and your grace that you have released in this place tonight in the name of Jesus. I thank you for everybody that you have touched. I thank you for everybody whose prayers that you have already answered. Because I know God, you say it's already done. I thank you for wiping away every tear that there shall be no more pain in our lives. There shall be no shame and no struggle in the name of Jesus. Come on, somebody receive it in Jesus' name. There's somebody right now, you sent your seed, you say, I'm believing God for a new job. I'm tired of where I'm working. I pray right now in the name of Jesus, transfer. I pray for that transfer in the name of Jesus. I'm seeing some people sending their requests even through the email as well. Thank you, Jesus. I speak that transfer will happen quickly in the name of Jesus. Let it happen for you quickly and speedingly. And everybody else believe in God for the same. Let it happen quickly and speedingly in the name of Jesus. Where you were denied before, you will not be denied anymore. Where you were rejected before, they cannot reject you and they will not reject you. It will be impossible for you to be let down. Come and receive it in the name of Jesus. It will be impossible for you to be turned down. So says the spirit of the living God. He says affliction will not rise the second time. Disaster and struggle will not rise the second time in your life. In the name of Jesus. Not again. Lakuda barakahaso. Never again. Never again. Pray for my husband. Pray for me and my husband. There is accusation. I pray for you right now in the name of Jesus. I was talking about accusation earlier on. And how dangerous accusation can be. I pray right now in the name of Jesus. That may God silence every voice of the enemy inside of your marriage in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I pray for yelling over your husband's knee in the name of Jesus. May the Lord release complete yelling right now. May God release complete healing right now in the name of Jesus. I pray God for every prayer request in the comment section. God, you, you know them. You know them by name. You know everything that need right now. I pray right now that God, you made them at the point of need. I'm asking God that even as they go lay down to sleep tonight. Let there be divine protection and divine visitation. Lord, fight for them tonight. I thank you for releasing strength over their lives. I thank you for the power of the Holy Ghost that you have released that is working in our lives. I plead the blood of Jesus over everybody watching me right now, over every family and every household. Guard them and watch over them tonight. In Jesus' name, I love you guys so much. Thank you for coming on and thank you for connecting. Please 
make sure you subscribe and make sure you go follow me on Facebook, on Instagram and subscribe on YouTube as well. The name across all platforms is PST Ever Joy. I don't have any backup accounts. I don't have any orphanage. I do not charge anybody for money. I will not ask you to buy holy water. I don't sell anointing oil as of now. I never sold any anointing oil. So God bless you guys. I pray that you remain covered. You remain strengthened in the name of Jesus. And I can't wait to receive your testimony as well because I know God has already worked tonight and God has already done it for you.